think that's the one, you know. All right, you already know you tuned into the most realest, rawest, uncut podcast on the tube. It's your boy, BMG Upper Class. Yo, it's Mono G, the big part. I am not a chihuahua. Mm. And today we're here with... Blockity it's Lil Upper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, it's Lil Upper here today. Uh-huh. Blocky the G, I know what's going on. We here, we outside. Let's get this shit popping. Ah, uh, you see, this was this was very anticipated. A lot of people wanted to see this happen, you feel me? We finally got it for y'all, you feel me? He showed up. I like some of you scary niggas and shit. He actually pulled up and shit, you feel me? We ain't gonna say too much names, but I know. I know niggas don't wanna pull up and shit. You feel me? So look, we gonna we gonna we gonna warm it up a little bit first before we get into all the the spicy shit. You feel me? Walk the fans through like who is block work. I ain't gonna lie. Ever since my career started really making music, I say I'm just like nigga out here. Just I'm just trying to make my way. You feel me? Ever since I started, I was just a real humble nigga. Like, you feel me? You fuck with me, I'm fuck with you. You feel me? I ain't no fuck you nigga. Like I go. Mm-hmm. See, I'm gonna let a nigga do something to me and some shit, but. I just always been trying to make some music, bro. Like when I came out, mm-hmm. it wasn't really looking too good for me and shit. But I started seeing what I could do. I got potential and shit. So I just never give up on myself. And I feel like I put everything like that's important first. Mm-hmm. Like, it might seem like what's going on out here and the beef and the politics I got on my name, but everything ain't really what it is. Like you get to sit down with me and really see what's up. It mm-hmm. just be a different side of me. Like I'm more about my family, my money, shit that just is right in life. Like, I feel like everything else just be bullshit, bro. Uh-huh. Sometimes I tend to entertain it, but it don't be worth that shit. Okay, so now that you got a couple of songs out, how did you come out with your, one of your latest hits, um, Philly Flow? I'm glad that's just me, like being a rapper. Like when I call like being a rapper is just like, like listening to other people. Like sometimes seeing like when I listen to other people, I rap through the beat sometimes to see like is this something I could ever do. And sometimes it don't be like going out, but sometimes I hear songs and I be like, damn, for me, this is something I could throw my little shit on, my little one twos, and do me to it. So the way I just came about that is I just heard mad niggas doing they Philly shit, like NR Bull, OT Kwani, mm-hmm. TJ Six, all of them. And I fuck with all of their music. So it was like when I heard it, I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, like this shit tough. I tried it at first, kind of didn't put out no many songs, but I kind of like got that song and it was like where I mastered the flow, how I, did, how I liked it. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna drop that shit. I'm feeling this shit. I ain't care what anybody else said. So Those niggas gonna hate, but after you dropped the track and shit, and yeah. like I seen there was like a, a screenshot where mm-hmm. like Corny responded, <laughs> yeah. saying other niggas responded. Like how that made you feel after niggas like you just said you you feel me? Basically, certain mm-hmm. niggas inspired you to want to do that, and yeah. then the same niggas respond in a in a different light. How that made you feel? I mean, that's just real nigga shit. I feel like real recognize real sometimes, mm. bro. Like through all our, like all the bullshit and shit, like it gotta be some type of light to it. So mm. I feel like at the end of the day, niggas gonna hate and niggas see that, like, damn, mm. niggas is hating on this nigga. I'm just trying to make music, but I'm mm-hmm. trying to, I even call this shit Philly flow. I'm showing y'all I ain't yeah, taking these fact. niggas yeah. flow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't trying to sit here and run yeah. off this shit, yeah. call it like block work flow or some shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Philly that's flow, this is my like I ain't gonna do it every time, but I'm gonna give y'all a little if y'all mm. like it, I showed y'all some little flow and I just put it out there like just paying homage type shit. Like yeah. I wish as a rapper, that's what I rap for. I want people to be like me sometimes, like and make yeah. a song called Fact. Block okay, Flow or okay. Harlem Flow, Fact. shouting out my hood type shit, because that's what I do it for. I want to be a role model. Like, yeah, yeah. That's just the point. So Take, now that, that you finding your sound, right? Do you have any upcoming tapes or any any upcoming work that you gonna put out? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Recently I've been working on a lot of music. I just been trying to stay in the studio, just been like stacking up all my unreleased songs to where I could sit down and say, I right, this three tapes right here. So at this point, I just been like grasping hella songs. So right now I see probably got like a hundred songs where I'm ready to go and drop. So when this new year start, I might just be dropping singles until where I find a song right there that could lead me out to the album, then boom, I'm gonna go album and just keep releasing music and do the same thing. Just any put on these niggas next. Any man. features we should know about or you gonna keep that a secret? Um, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna keep it a secret because everybody Already, like, don't be knowing what's going on. Everybody just know Blocky is being alone all the time. He never in videos with nobody no more. He all do features, die. Yeah, that's that's this is that's it's crazy you said that because I was I said something like that in the last podcast too. I'm like, yo, I don't really see you with certain niggas, and then the niggas that I see in videos like nondescript niggas type shit. You feel me? Yeah, because so, like after me growing, 
Mm -hmm. I noticed like people that's going to be there for you ain't going to really be like, like them people that you think that's there for you mm -hmm. ain't really them people that's there for you. Like mm -hmm. I've, throughout all the stuff I've been through, I mm -hmm. noticed like who really there for me, those guys that's really there for me. I don't care if these niggas don't got enough money as me. I don't care if we not, obviously we're not the same person. Mm -hmm. I don't care if these niggas don't look as fly as me. I don't care if they can't do as much as me or nothing. I still treat them just like we brothers just because they Smart pop out man. for me. They show love for me. They gonna do this shit for me. And other people don't do that shit. And it's like, damn, I, I did more for y'all niggas. Mm. Y'all supposed to be doing for me. And these niggas just doing this shit because it's like, we f with block, bro. And some mm -hmm. of these niggas doing this shit because they grow with me. And some of them just doing it because they f with block. Like, it's mm -hmm. crazy. And I just noticed that shit like, damn, bro, that shit crazy. So me just real recognizing real is like, that shit grimy, bro. And I, that's why it really made me f with certain niggas. I only be with a handful of niggas because it's like, these only niggas I got. You see, and like, this is something that like, I be trying to preach to the younger niggas too, you feel me? You got to have your own mental. You can't have a mental, a group mental, you feel yeah. me? This nigga think that way, so that means I got to think, think that, that way, way just because we cool, you know what I'm saying? That's how come a lot of niggas end up in problems that they didn't have type shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh, all right, yeah, you know what? I feel like slapping this nigga. Yeah. And this nigga don't feel like slapping that so nigga. Just but because he my man is now, you feel me? And then he, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody just I, doing shit. I was going to ask you, like, what did it take for you to grow? Because you, you mentioned that. I ain't going to lie, real shit just like, just going through shit. Like, I feel like if I never went through shit with niggas, like, having fallouts with niggas, bro, like, this whole beef shit with these niggas, like, oh, wow, OG and all that shit, I would have still been in, stuck in a position where niggas just like, I'm not gonna say it, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting used, basically, bro. Niggas ain't really my man's. Like before, used I'm taking like, as well. yeah, that's what you felt like, that before or now. Like I'm talking about before. Like if I would have stayed in that situation, that's how I'm feeling because at the end of the day, y'all, y'all wasn't clearly y'all not my real man's, and I'm my real friends. I don't know real friends gonna do that to anybody. So it's like if I'm sticking around, and it's like what? Mm -hmm. Basically, the whole situation happened because I didn't want to do something for the nigga. So if I had a gay the nigga, the brother son, I'd have still been friends with the nigga to this day. Mm -hmm. But we not real friends though, bro. You can't just really want porn? me around. Oh, Kim? They just want me around. So it was just like, now nah, niggas not my friends, bro. Oh, so basically, you not giving him that bread caused everyone Every, else to fall out with everything. you too? Everything. I swear to God, the next day, Blocky a rap, Blocky this and that. Bro, when I came home from the situation with Kim, we shot Move Look. Mm -hmm. Showing that we got that went viral or whatever. We yeah, shot he that. Had a question. You, you had a question for him, right, little Up? Yeah, like, <clears throat> would you change your music genre? Like, would you change it? Like, what do you mean by changing? Like, completely changing? No more drill? Yeah. Make sure you're talking to the mic, all right? Mm. I ain't gonna change it completely. Mm, I don't think I, c I can never do that. I, I probably, like, certain songs, yeah, I shift away from it and not do drill. But it's like, I feel like I switch it up with different beats and it's like, still do me and bring it in in there. Because I just feel like that's me. Like, I've been, I've been through everything. That's mm -hmm. where I came from. And I just feel like sometimes I'd be the best way I could express myself, but eventually, yeah, I feel like I could shift away from drill. Like when it comes down to it and drill is not a thing no more, you really got to make real music. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'd be the only one that to succeed at that. Like all these tributes I did, mm -hmm. all these songs I did, nobody could do songs like that. You can't name nobody that's doing songs like that. And I'm not even trying to shit on niggas or put no type of name. You talk about like, niggas in I your I was hurt, circle. nigga. I made yeah. songs like that because... I'm an artist, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Nigga, I, mean, I ain't had nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. So how did you come along making the um Eat Out tribute? Like, bro, the shit, the day that shit happened, I couldn't make music, bro. Like, I was just so in the mood that shit happened. I just went on with my life. I was just contemplating, stop doing music, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and then something like clicked for me from the first time I made my song and stuff. Like, bro, was just talking to me and telling me like. It's the reason why I was doing music. So ain't no way I could stop doing music. He made me doing music. So I just got back to it. Oh, so he was the inspiration by you started. Yeah, like as soon as I came home, he was the only rapper on my block, bro. I'm going to keep it like that. He started doing songs with Shy K and that's how I got like original right. thumb. But he was the only rapper on my block. So I'm hold like- on. Hold on, bro. Hold your thought. But first, before you, can you give us your top five? Like in the city? Um, Damn. I would, um, I would say Harlem first. Harlem? Yeah. Damn. Right now? Because that was a big thing last couple episodes. It was like, oh, da, da, a bunch <laughs> of bullshit. So we want to hear your top five first. From I ain't going to lie. My top five Harlem. in Harlem. I ain't going to be <laughs> biased. <laughs> I ain't, ain't going to be biased, but number one, 
Like I'm really the I, I'm really the best in Harlem, but I ain't gonna be biased. So I'm, not even gonna put, I'm not gonna put my name in it. All right. But like I'm gonna let I, I fuck with a couple of Harlem, like Harlem artists. Bro, shit, even though niggas that yo matter of fact, Manhattan, bro. Cause yeah, you gotta cause, differentiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because niggas was a jacket. Niggas um, say certain niggas yeah. ain't from here. And certain niggas <laughs> Manhattan, bro. You feel me? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas that don't f with me, I like. I f with their music. I ain't gonna say I bump it every day, but like, I feel like top five probably. I say like probably Emro. Okay. Shout out to Lil Bro. Bloody duty, them niggas good, bro. They doing their shit, bro. All of them don't got a lot of rap, bro. Oh, they in your top five. That's you. DD, D dot. Yeah, I'll give it to all of them niggas, bro. Okay, you feel okay. me? I don't hate I don't hate on niggas for no type of reason, bro. Niggas I, doing their thing. You feel I me? Go we Harlem, bro. We Harlem, bro. At the end of the day, bro. I ain't go shit on niggas I, like that type of way, bro. I commend you for being so humble, but I have a feeling that a lot of people is gonna be like, yo, your humbleness isn't organic. It's like it's false, right? Because to to outside of looking in, it's like why you said those people, the same people you fell out with when there's other people as well that you could have put in there that's doing I mean, equally as good or even better? To keep it 100, though, bro, I don't know nobody else in Harlem, bro. I got options in Harlem and shit. I ain't gonna say That's why like, I said Manhattan. Niggas doing good. Niggas so doing, you feel me? Because a lot good, of us think I don't, a I don't lot of like, niggas from Harlem. Like, I don't like their music. I can't mm. listen to it. Like I feel like okay, when I come okay. to a point like, if I put all this shit to my head, out of my head aside, <laughs> mm -hmm. I really just listen to the music. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, bro, it's a good song. You feel me? I got keep it to them. Like I listen to these niggas' music sometimes. I'll go fuck if they don't listen to my music or whatever, bro. It's exactly. music. So Word. I listen to this shit sometimes. I'm like, yeah, this shit hit. Yo, yeah, Upper, right. Upper, did you say that because of how he portrays himself on the lives and shit? Nah, it's it's me thinking from like, all right, you see, I'm a, like a strategic type of nigga. So I always be making a a move for the next move type shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? So I know when I say certain things, a nigga <laughs> might have a rebuttal to what I say, mm -hmm. right? And as soon as he have that rebuttal, I already have something prepared to to rebuttal that. So now, like I'm, I'm, I'm hearing him saying that, and I'm picturing a rebuttal that the fans are saying yeah. they had. Like, yo, okay, okay. he seemed like he wasn't really nah, bro, like. Never you know feel me? Hate though, bro. Like I re went on the internet, it'd be looking like that because I respond to how niggas respond to me. Like, niggas I, come look, on the net be talking crazy. I be nah, like, yo, because, what? I wake up to this shit. I be like, yo, I'm finna just let all these niggas talk shit. Hold on. Nah, because hold I get my words out. You be spazzing. Like, I be I, but let me say but, something but, though. Like niggas but, go crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yo, look, 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 look. <laughs> block chilling. Block under. Block under his shell right now. He not with nobody. I ain't hear yeah. nothing from him. He not with nobody. Mm. He not saying nothing to nobody. Now my name mentioned. I don't like that, bro. Mm. I don't like I, that, bro. Look, I don't like that because I ain't do nothing to nobody. Now watch this. RPE dot right. I fucked with E dot before he passed and shit. I don't know if. You ever spoke about me with you and shit, but yeah, me and him yeah. was cordial. I seen you all of the videos and shit. Yeah, and me and him was mad yeah. cordial. So, but like at one point you made a track, and in the track you you referenced some shit like basically causing harm to Edot type shit. I don't want to say it because then I gotta edit and all that. You mm -hmm. feel me? But you know what you said in the track in reference to Edot, right? Yeah. And then after that, this is another reason why I said what I said just now too. After that, you made the tribute when he passed away. Yeah. So now it's like, why you diss him and then made a tribute to him type shit? Because I feel like at the moment when shit was going on, shit was kind of looking like how I was looking on the internet. I feel mm -hmm. like niggas hopped on a song. They did that song with E.K. Keem talking about me. I felt some type of way. And mm -hmm. I feel like Swiss Sausages was just my get back song. Mm -hmm. I just did the song and I was just that after that. But mm -hmm. niggas had conversations like off the phone and shit like... Talking about fixing shit, building shit, bringing back together that nobody knew about right before bro mm. passed. So it was just like, damn, bro, that shit happened before everybody could know. Like we was really about to be good, nigga. Like mm. I seen this nigga so many times and shit, and it was like, we don't, we don't hate this nigga, bro. Like niggas had to really like we had to stop. Like niggas sitting there like stop that shit, bro, for mm, real, bro. No. Like niggas sitting here acting like they hate me for real. Stop that I don't shit, think bro. you know. I'm gonna stop you there. I don't think. That, all right, Duty and Bloody, Bloody was here. I don't think yeah. they hate you. Yeah. Cause from speaking to them on and off camera, nah, yeah. Like the way they the way they word what they saying, it's like they're not really trying to bring that energy directly towards you. Like it's a it's from a place of hate. Mm -hmm. But at this age that niggas is sometimes, not saying that they are, but mm -hmm. a lot of niggas being young, they're malleable. So you that. feel me? Whatever is the litest shit right now, that's yeah. what everybody goes with. You feel me? Now. Nah. 
if everybody on this person wave and that person is looking like the person that could take you from here, they gonna side with that person nine times out of ten. You feel me? Cause niggas niggas is loyal to themselves before they loyal to anybody else. You feel me? That's so if a nigga see a way out for himself, whatever's better, yeah, whatever's yeah. better. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna go with that type shit. But they they it sounds like they That's still the shit got I hate love. it though, bro. Niggas ain't never had no faith in a nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah, they be like that. They not going when it, you blow up. Then they be like, oh yeah, I seen your vision from when you first crazy, started. Da, da, da. It'd be like that. So, so how you I. Right. I seen you wilding on live after the podcast. <laughs> like, she got me you, mad though, bro. I gotta let you talk your shit. Like, what? What you you told me? Like, yo, now nah, you gotta get me up here. I gotta talk my shit. So, what do you got in rebuttal to what they say? Because it's just like certain shit that they say. I'd be like, all right, whatever. They just talking. But then certain shit, I just be like, yo, they they saying bullshit, bro. Like mm-hmm. they saying bullshit. Like shit what they saying specifically? Taven, Duty Low. Mm-hmm. That's my little let's, man. Let's not go. <laughs> Why he did Why? that? Yeah, facts. Come my on. Little man. That's my little man, bro. I used to ride bikes with this yeah. nigga every day. Like me and my day one man's, we with him yeah. every day. That's the trio. Like we pop mm-hmm. out. You see us three. Like mm-hmm. that's my man's, bro. Like we, like I'm telling yeah. you, bro. I think you still. Like, yeah, I swear to God, man. call this nigga every. Like we still be talking and shit, topping yeah. it up. He be telling me like, yeah, shit, he I, told me that. Like, he said that. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Shit, just be like, it be so weird. Like niggas want me to do shit, but you gotta understand. Position I'm in. Show me y'all niggas here for me, bro. I've been in the position where I'm feeling like you y'all niggas don't out. fuck with me, bro. Y'all niggas against me. Pull up, pull up. Come show me. Come to my face, bro. Make me feel comfortable. Y'all know where I'm at. I'm on the block sometimes. Shoot with my vids. Mm-hmm. Pull up on me, bro. Come for me, bro. Come show me. I'm come show me what it is. I keep saying y'all this and that. It's not this, but niggas mm-hmm. don't ever want to come around me. Mm-hmm. Show me it's this and that. Smoke with me. Talk about it. Chop it up. If you feel some type of way about something that happened, pull up on me. Tell me. Block is exactly. wild and chill. You feel me? Do it this way. Do it yeah. that. Niggas don't do that no more. So niggas yeah. don't know how to just sit here and like be men about shit, bro. Niggas just go to the internet. Ah, rah, 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 that shit. Why? So that's the reason you was like avoiding the the fight shit. Or your brother was avoiding that fight shit. The whole situation happened when. Oh well, yeah, I forgot about that yeah. because I'm because now you're saying it and yeah. then you look like you actually <laughs> wanted to speak on it and talk as men, but I then know, I, I, I they just wanted out, to I fight. Out. Niggas, niggas was there like expecting for me to be there. I wasn't there. I popped out, told niggas I fight. I don't care about none of that. I got there. My brother was like, "Bro, y'all wilding." I hear about this whole situation. This is my big brother. Mm-hmm. You think he not gonna step in for the situation? You think this thing gonna sit here act like nothing going on? He don't got nothing to do with it. I have a whole problem with Keem, nigga. Why would my brother, big brother, sit there and let me fight his big brother? This I don't know him. Mm-hmm. I never met Quan. Mm-hmm. Like this is what I'm telling y'all. Me and Keem used to roll around every twins. day. That's what I'm saying though. Mm-hmm. Quan was Keem. They wasn't together. Mm-hmm. You would think me and Keem was twins the way we mm-hmm. been together. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. me and Keem was together every day. I never met Quan. I met Quan the day he asked me to fight. So my brother, like nigga, you bugging this nigga? Don't even know you. I don't give a fuck if y'all twins or not. You want to do this brother shit? I'm his brother. You fight me. They fought. Mm. That shit don't matter. Niggas trying to say he spanked him. I don't. Tch. That's what they was. That's what they yeah. were saying. I don't know about all that. You feel me? I don't really like to get into shit like that. Cause yeah. like I was saying, should be for the streets, but shit don't really be the need to be like said and shit like that. But that's mm. not how shit ain't. That's I, not how shit went. I got a question. Go ahead. Um, how did you feel about the fallout between OGs and OY? I feel like it was very like. It was fake. Like it wasn't real. Like that's even when I said it, I'm like. When the situation happened, I'm telling niggas like, yo, bro, y'all really going to trade with me for these niggas? I'm telling y'all these niggas is fool. Right now, I see it. Jake hey, calling me a rat, talking about he go do social, suck call to a nigga, sister and mom. Pussy ass nigga ain't never do nothing, bro. This nigga not on nothing. He not on nothing. This nigga be tight. He for the internet, bro. He really for the internet, bro. Like, this nigga really for the internet, bro. Bro, that shit not even cool. Because he's the most internet nigga I ever met. Bro got me blocked on Instagram. Like, like for real. I don't bother you. This nigga like yeah. he act like he don't want me to see where he at or something. He scared of something, gang. Like, you feel me? So, boom, bro. Shit. The fallout with them was just me. I didn't feel good about it, but I, I kind of did feel good about it, bro. Like, I told y'all niggas, bro. Like, yo, bro. Like, when they, bro I was seeing Mad G, niggas, niggas like, yo, niggas like, yo, the nigga block work like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, see, yo, I told niggas, bro, like, I wasn't trying to be on no, like, we in the industry. Cool. These niggas, yeah, we could go in the industry and be the biggest group, whatever. We can make money and we could be yeah. lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But these niggas ain't real, bro. We gonna That's get into crazy. a situation where we on a block, niggas start booming at us, some crazy shit happen. They not gonna be there for us. And mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell them, these niggas not gonna be there for us. And it just happened to a moment where, bro, these niggas did a tribute song 
together, and they had a fallout after. Like, mm-hmm. That's weird as hell, bro. After this day on, like you said about that Swiss side song, mm-hmm. it's because shit was going on, bro. Mm-hmm. Death is bigger to me, and I feel like I'm just mm-hmm. a, I'm a grown man at this point, but I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to live my life, Respect get money, me. have kids, have a wife. You feel me? I'm trying. Oh, to you live, got like, kids? I'm, nah, I'm trying, trying, to, I'm trying to do like. <laughs> I think you said you had kids. Okay. Yeah, I'm really trying. That's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm trying to make it there. It's yeah, a marathon, yeah. bro. It's not a race, bro. People treat like you gotta be in first place right now. I'm just running. I'm trying to be the last one standing, bro. Like real shit. So when I say that, I'm living my life different than people. People got a different type of like perspective of it. Mm. I'm just trying to make it to the end, bro. People be like living for now and shit. So I just I'm glad I got that mindset now. Okay. I'm going through what I've been through because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't think like that. Okay. So oh, is it is there like any like older heads in your corner that pull you to the side and wise you up? Because I ain't gonna front. At one point, you was on like a dumb out mission. Like you were just going off all the time type shit. Was, Anybody, hold on, bro. Anybody right. ever pulled you over and said, yo, bro, listen, you tweaking, bro. <laughs> like you need to fix up what's going on with you. You feel I, me? Uh, I got like my cousin, my big brother. Mm. Shit, like even sometimes my, my main friends sometimes, like they mm. would let me know because they not no yes man, bro. That's why I love niggas, bro. You mm-hmm. feel me? They gonna let niggas know, like even Spread me, like Blocky Wally. You feel me? Like feel me? That's why I need that sometimes. Cause I'm the type of nigga where I be tweaking out and I get in type of mode where feel like I can't be stopped and I'm untouchable type shit. Mm-hmm. And you don't need that all the time, bro. You yeah. not untouchable. Nobody that, mm-hmm. that shit can happen, bro. So having good people around that, I just know to like you feel me. This nigga temper mm-hmm. hot, and cool this nigga down. He gonna listen to me because he fuck with me. You feel me? Yeah. Before another person have to tell him that he don't fuck with, mm-hmm. he gonna bug out on them. Like you feel me? So. A lot of people like close friends and it, shit. I say. There's a question that I I I, I want to ask too, right? Like, was it like a year and a half ago, almost two years probably? Me and you. I was just about right? to say that. Not, hey, yo, I was leaving. I was leaving. I was gonna ask. I know. I'm gonna bring that bro, up. Bro, bro, bro. I was gonna ask. Y'all literally gonna, gonna ask. Like, <laughs> you now, now that y'all, now that like a year, two years ago, fast. Now that y'all two in the same room. How does it like? What's the energy like? I just mm. just just explain it to the to the guests and the like, viewers. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like, bro. Mm. I understand more shit now, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like at then I was young and shit. Wait, I was, hold on, what was, was it? What was it like that I did? Nah, that made bro. It's you just me, like some felt. It's just my character sometimes, bro. That's something I got. But work it had on to be sometimes. something that started. Like, what what did I do? Like. That made I feel like you... it's not only be you though. Sometimes other niggas be reacting my videos. I give them the same energy. Mm. I be like, yo, why this nigga have to say that? Like, you feel me? I be sometimes I wake up, brush my teeth, watch the reaction mm. and shit. I'm like, damn, I had to see this shit in the morning. This nigga just blew my shit. Like, you remember what I said? I remember all that shit. Like, sometimes I watch niggas' huh? reactions. Some, mm. bro. Sometimes I watch old niggas' reaction and I just take one thing that they say and I be like, all right, I'm gonna switch it up for him. Mm-hmm. See if he see if he say something different next yeah. time. If he don't, then that shit crazy, bro. They can just hate on me, bro. Mm-hmm. So really, when I was younger, I just feel like I was just more immature. I didn't really understand more things, and I was just like thinking more of his like niggas picking on me, niggas mm-hmm. trying to like. As I more see it out, bro, that's what you do, bro. It's the it, shit it, you do. It. I start watching you do this shit to other niggas, though. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, bro, this nigga ain't really not doing this shit to me. And I start laughing at this shit. This shit like, <laughs> but it's, it's funny, funny when shit. it's Keep not it true, though. But that's so what I think be. the problem Keep is. Keep it real sometimes, mm-hmm. bro. You're not gonna, when, niggas not going to like everything, bro. Yeah, that's, 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 what, that's what, what I think saying, the problem bro. is. Niggas ain't going to like everything, bro. They people, the people that watch your reaction, they feel like you going directly at yeah, them. And then now you hear it from him. Like, oh, it's not just him that's getting the criticism. You, you, I was you, tripping, bro. I'm like just tuning in for me. I'm like, bro, let me watch. Yeah, that's what bro. I was about to say just now. I was about to say if they bro. took the time to watch other people's watch reaction. Because now I'm watching everything. Selected. I'm like, all right, I can see now he's being genuine, certain shit, mm-hmm. how he shows he like it, and how he sees shit, and be like, nah, nah, fuck mm-hmm. with this and shit. So I'm like, catching on to it, bro. I'm like, bro, whatever, bro. At the end yeah. of the day, I'm like, fuck it, bro. So it's whatever. After you, about it. after you heard heard his reaction, what song did you make? To shut him up, like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. More say I would say the beat, the beat selection. Like I stopped, I, I stopped really like what I used to do before was just pick them, like go in the studio and just pick them. Just give I me stopped. a random. Now you taking your time more? You saying? Nah, now I have a nigga like send me some shit. That do you, you think, think I that go it on. helped that you changed up what I said though? That what I say help? You feel me? Make better songs. I ain't gonna lie because that helps, bro. That helps because you're not the only one saying it. I like, be fans and people mm-hmm. saying this shit all the time, and it's just like mm-hmm. me hearing this shit from somebody I'm watching, somebody say it physically mm-hmm. on the video, like up here. I'm like, damn, taking it 
from notice then. I'm like, bro, fans be saying that shit sometimes, boo. So I can't really. They right. want different shit. This they is what want I want. Shit. This is what I want viewers and fans and rappers to know, right? When I react to these niggas' music, I haven't heard the song yet. Yeah. My first time hearing the song is when I react to it. And on my own time, I do not listen to drill music. I listen to dancehall. You feel me? Gaza, Raijin King, Chronic Law. Yeah, These are the type of shit I'm listening to on my day to day. I don't listen to no drill rap. So right. it's no way for me to say, yo, you know what? I knew what this nigga said about block work. I knew what this nigga said about block work. So I know what he about to say back now. Nah, y'all don't really I feel like it'd be the this is anything either because that's how this music mm-hmm. is, bro. A nigga going diss and everything. A nigga go mm. make a love song. Talk about I love my bitch. We go to the store smoking his mans. <laughs> right? Nigga always throw it. Oh, nah, he always got to throw a diss in there. Nah, he can't fact. finish it. I ain't gonna lie. Win. That's how niggas figured out how to do it. Maybe fire for some people, but it's it's mm. always in there, bro. So that's one thing I ain't care about, bro. I, mm. I like I actually like when people diss me, bro. I got a question. Just stop dissing me, bro. I feel like that shit like bothers me for real. Like sometimes mm. I really see people and I think about like. Letting them be like, mm-hmm. go ahead, bro. Yeah, I'm living a different life, bro. I got kids. I want to have kids and live. I might yeah. let you go, but they get me mad on the end and I might do something to you. Word, facts. What you oh, want yeah. to ask me? I had a question. Would you think about moving from New York like C Blue? Um, like. <laughs> Why is he mm. mad everybody? <laughs> I, know, I, like, I like that question though, because for real though, C Blue did some small shit though. Like, he shifted his whole. Career, like, mm-hmm. fuck it, don't come to New York no more. Like, he not even a New York based rapper no more. Like, he just right. different state. And I feel like, no funny shit, that's something I, I need for real. A lot of people don't like me in New York, so I try somewhere else. I'm going up, bro. I get love from other people in other states. You know, everywhere. you know what I think, bro. I don't think people don't like you. I think people are programmed to not like you. Yeah. See, like it's the same yeah. thing with me. Yeah. When there's yeah. so many people doing it, it seems like that's it's the just right cool thing to, to do. do it. Yeah. They don't really know a nigga. They don't know a nigga character. They never sat down that's face to face with a nigga. They just see what they see on the internet. Yeah. It's like, yo, I'm gonna hate this nigga this, off of that shit. The villain you know role. The villain role yeah. that you was talking it's like about. They let so, that villain. first. Somebody get the first say so or something, and they mm. just run with it. Yeah, yeah. that's why that's certain times I be like feeding into stuff because mm-hmm. I be telling myself like I ain't gonna feed into it. Then like I let the shit blow by, and it's like niggas talking about it for a year now. Niggas you, ran you, with the situation. You know why like, it's good to feed fuck? into it sometimes if you know how to market it to make it play out in your favor. If you're just gonna feed into it to, to argue on live and the nigga screen record your shit, get a hundred thousand views on YouTube and get paid off of your rent. And you're not getting paid over it, might as well not do it. You, know, you feel me? You might as well go live on your YouTube channel and rant. And how much so that you... way, when anybody else posts it, you can say, you know what? I'm a copyright day shit. They got to pay me for it. And, and how much you talk. bet on this podcast, everybody had their fair time to... Fair, fair, whoa, f- <laughs> they had their fair time to talk and they still gonna comment, oh, let this yeah. nigga talk. Right. Right. Bro, they gonna, yeah, it's, it's just... Hell yeah, yeah, bro. I feel like... Bullshit. <laughs> I, well, ever since I watched, like... A shower, sat down and watched it. I'm like, I like, I like, you feel me? I the like that you're doing this, bro. Because this is really going to show, like, mm-hmm. who really want to come sit down and just speak, bro. Because it's been a lot of, I know I ain't the only person that you react to. They had a problem, it's an issue, like, you feel me? But they it's, scared, they, bro. Do you know what the thing is? Go right. up, bro. Niggas got to just, aside like, from this. Aside from being a street nigga, right? Because everything I say on the internet is really me. Yeah. Like, it's no no cap. But That's aside fine. from being a street nigga, I'm a businessman. I know how to make money. Yeah. My mind is always focused on money. You see, I got my son on a chair. You, this is strategic movements yeah. right here. That's fine. They're going to see my son asking those questions. They're going to see he's so open and comfortable. Yeah. That's a fact. They might I put him in a show like or something. They might, you feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. all about, you know, niggas don't use their head. So now when you come in here... Most people that watch me, like, because I work with labels and shit like that. So these people see me able to sit down in the same room and be professional with someone that I had a back and forth with before. Yeah. Nigga, that that's just puts me ahead of everyone else. You feel me? And, and it does the same thing for you as well as an that's artist. That's why I be trying to show you people, me? bro. Even my old friends too. I, this shit, I show them niggas all the time, bro. Yeah, like this shit, it, it, it really, it really, I mean, it shines that different light on you because now it shows yeah. that you not just a, 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 a radical dickhead. You feel me? You're not yeah. a dumb out. That's so now fact. if I invest my money into you, you I, I, I could feel comfortable yeah. without having to take a loss because yeah. I know, all right, yo, he know how to make money moves. This is money moves. He going to make the moves with no problems. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Fact. Uh, and that's what niggas be oh, niggas need to learn. It's finally time. 
Who is that? <laughs> you know what time it is. You know <laughs> what time it is. Eyes. So, block work. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Uh, do you f fat bitches? <laughs> fat bitches? Or have you ever? Uh, <laughs> have I ever fucked a fat bitch? Yeah. I don't want to lie, bro. What y'all niggas, like, what y'all call fat, like? Oh, everybody, 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 like, yo, you know fat when you, when you see one, when you, you see one, when you see one. Nah, I need a weight, like. A weight? Even if you have a weight, you what still. What you call yeah, fat? Yeah, like. Like, fat is like, can't walk on a block with her, like, can't. Like, you know how you walk past your niggas, mm. you know, about to, about to slam this, you know, you feel me? Is that fat or ugly, though? Can't walk. Cause nah. it got fat pretty. Bitches that's pretty. Like, what? It be yeah, weird. It got fat pretty. Did he say weird? Yo, majority of, <laughs> yo, old jokes aside, what? though. What? Old jokes what are you aside. About? Yeah, most females will tell you that too, bro. Fat, a lot of fat girls are actually pretty. They it's just, just the fact yeah. that their weight and the way niggas is programmed, niggas don't yeah. even look in a direction type nah, shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. niggas already programmed I to like think that way. Every girl beautiful though. I ain't trying to say yeah, that. Respectfully. But... Yeah, but would you f fat bitches or would did I, have I you have ever? I'ma say I have, bro. You have? Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. So, like how 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 was it? Like a workout or is it just like I never like really did the on top of me jump. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm like shitty. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe she can't get on top of me, bro. That is crazy. So I just. <laughs> I just thug it out, do what I do, you feel me? I can't really, yo, I can't yo. really say I, I discriminate. Nah, been times where I like big bone, big boned girls. Yeah. Okay. Little up, you like fat girls? Huh? <laughs> Talk to the mic. Oh, nah, I don't like fat girls. Okay, Why so you don't like fat girls? Fat, yeah. fat girls do some things that other girls can't do to Yeah, my boy, my boy says, a fat joe don't like him. Tell me At school? What happened with the fat joe? <laughs> Tell him the story. <laughs> <laughs> So, so basically, um, this girl in my school had liked me and stuff, and she's fat, in my opinion. <laughs> so, um, she said that she likes me and stuff, and she's going to text me something like that. And I said, cool, that I don't care. It's, that's all right and stuff. <laughs> then she's going to put a middle finger up at me, like the emoji of middle finger mm -hmm. and stuff. And then... I get mad because then she's gonna call me short, have little ass feet. <laughs> so she's fat because you small. So she fat and this and right. right, right. So, and, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Finish. And then, uh, he she don't like when people call him short. <laughs> <laughs> and then, when she said that, I just say, You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the. After that, she was quiet for like two minutes, yeah. and then she said, "Oh, so." So did you see her at school today? Oh uh, yeah. What she said? Didn't really say nothing. Oh no, you probably heard her. You gotta friend. be nice to the. Right. You gotta be she nice. Even, you say, even if you turn them nice. down, though, turn them down yeah. nicely because yeah. other yeah. girls yeah. see it and be like, yeah. "Oh, like a pretty girl might see it and be like." Yeah, you, you don't got to diss them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Now they know if they try it, they ain't gonna. Yeah. They not gonna get let down like. Yeah, Go have facts. to go cry in the bathroom or something. Yeah, like, that's a fact. That's a good, feel good about it. So, what is your type? Huh? I'm talking to, well, both of y'all can answer. <laughs> yeah, because it's like. I want to say I have a type. I just like, I like something that's, that's doing right. Okay. Yeah, some money, trying to be, you know. Like financially type shit? Trying to be positive in life. I ain't oh, trying okay. to just, you know, sit around, do anything. Yeah. I like something that's, you know, motivated. Mm. Like, I ain't saying you got to be rich right now. At least mm -hmm. have a plan, have something set. Respectful. So I can work with it, bro. You right. feel me? You, love is love. If I find love, I work with it from wherever I work with it. You're the first care. person I actually heard say that's some shit like that. Yeah, I never right. got an answer like, like that. That's what I'm saying. You ask niggas to say skinny, like, yeah. light skin, thick, whatever. Yeah. That don't really matter sometimes because you could get what you get, bro. Go ahead yeah. and get that. But is nine she times out be... of ten, is that going to be the one that you're going to be with, bro? Mm. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah. You can't pick them like that. You keep yeah. picking them like that, you're going to be picking them like that for life. That's a fact. You gotta That's learn how to pick them so you actually run into one and be like, Yeah, they want to they want to slide in this yeah, deal. Yeah, they were like, Oh, I'm like, sorry, nah, he, he, he got the wrist. He got the wrist. No, real though. Your turn, a little upbug. Uh, talk to us. Yeah, talk my, to. In my opinion, like the girls I like, I like a smart, intelligent girl. Uh, okay. She not That's too, she not too like 
bigger than me. Like, she not <laughs> 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 he, he made that. He right. made bigger that known. He made that known. She can't be like too bigger than me because then I'm going to look like I'm her little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I felt so, that too. Yeah. 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 I don't want to bigger than me. That's what yeah. Like, she, she's like the way that I look, like my size mm, okay. and stuff. I, I don't care if she's older than me and younger than me. Like, if it's years, though. If, she, oh, if but, it's years, what? Years older or younger? If it's years Like, if she, it's years younger. It's but, a dub. Yeah, but if this she's older, I, I really don't care. Okay. That okay. Means okay. 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 <laughs> okay. okay. Means I pull all the girls. Uh huh. You pull all the girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yo, you know it's funny that you said this shit, right? Word of my mother. This nigga was like, I think he was like three years old. One day we on ocean in St. Paul's and shit, right? Mm. So he walks off. Night and all of them was there. He walks off, go to some lady on the corner and shit. She was sitting in the car. So he talking to her. I'm like, yo, who the hell is that he talking to? So I pull up, like, like you know her? Why are you talking to the lady? You feel me? He like, he like, chill, daddy, chill. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, what you mean, chill? So she like, she asked him, she like, yo, how old are you? He looked at me, he looked at her, he like, I'm 10. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you three. He like, it's gotta be hate. <laughs> yo, I swear to God, like he he dead ass serious, like older women, like that's from good young. though, that's good. That's and he good. always liked them with money and shit. Yeah, funny. The same thing is my girlfriend a few older, a few old, a few months older than me. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. This nigga got a long yeah, distance, got... a long distance relationship right now. <laughs> he showed me on the phone over to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> she went back to her. That's country how I mean when you're younger though. Right. You right. Love that when you're right. Bro. But that's the best. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, I saw an interview. Right? It's I got so much questions about this interview. All right, boom. I feel like I know it. Your manager so or ex-manager, yeah, right? Dude. Before we get into what Bro. the manager said, right? Why were you so mad at P Films? Like what what made you like I was watching the shit. You was stop, bro. Black and what was nah, you mad at bro, P Films? Bro, I was bro. mad, bro. Yeah, I wanna know. Where you heard of P Films from, bro? P Films? Where you heard of him from? Like where you ever heard of him? I ain't gonna front I right, boom. What was the when first I, time you heard of him? Let me know. I wanna see the like the first time you heard of him. I ain't gonna cap to you. Like me hearing about P Films, he he had me up to do an interview. When was it, you feel me? Like a minute ago. And I was like, nah, I'm not doing no interviews and shit. You feel me? Like a minute ago. And then I was supposed to go to Cali do the Adam 22 shit. Yeah. But we have a group chat with like- this was, that's not, That was around the time I did it too? The Adam 22 shit? I don't shit. remember. No, no, no. That was way- We did- Way before? He, yeah, because we yeah, had Adam yeah. 22 on our podcast too. But we did that shit way before you did your shit, I think. Uh, all right. So anyway- the nigga hit me again when I when I was talking about the Adam because I had posted like yo y'all want to see me go to Adam Twenty Two yeah. whatever so he hit me up like yo that's crazy bro I'm a New York platform how you gonna give Adam Twenty Two the interview before me whoop de woo and I'm like you know what he coming up I'm gonna be an official New York nigga and I'm gonna do the interview with him type shit you feel me just out of love like some New York love shit type oh, yeah. shit you feel me and. Pause on that, because I know somebody <laughs> going to say some fishy yeah, shit in the section. Crazy. You feel me? Crazy. But, so, like, that's how I ended up finding about him type shit. You feel me? And we was in, a, like, a group a group with the content creators. We got, like, a, a content creator group. I'm trying to think we, I ain't going to lie. I was, like, probably, like, the first, like, real rappers, like, he did an interview with. Like, yeah. Brought this nigga, like, to Harlem to my spot. Mm. Like I think I've my, seen that. Yeah, you sitting in front of a window or some shit. Yeah, sitting inside my shit. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen me? that. Like that comfortable. Like you feel me? He tried something right now. I don't even. This early in my career, I'm still in the streets right now. You try something right now. I heard you, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know music and shit right now. I don't know how to upload my music and shit. I'm just doing yeah. this interview, trying to go up and shit. So yeah. doing the interview, I'm just like, I'm not thinking it's really gonna do anything for me or him, and I just. After I did the interview, you know, shit did good, helped them and shit, and I just see everybody else in the scene doing the interviews after. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, I'm starting shit, bro. Like, I got to get some type of, like, mm-hmm. like, you feel me? Like, I don't say, like, a nigga got to pay homage to me or anything, but nigga, if I hit you up, like, yo, bro, let's do another interview, then I should be the guy getting the interview. Yeah, or yeah, respectfully. if something comes about me, 
Get my say so first, nigga. You know how they treat yeah. me on the net, bro. Yeah, 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 they take exactly. their words first and right. run with it and try to treat block like that shit right. Fact. Yeah, no, bro, you f with me. You knew that shit from the beginning. I let you know my story, bro. Yeah, You're supposed yeah. to come to me first, like, nah. I actually know this nigga. This mm -hmm. could be some random shit that she just talking. Let me get this nigga first, get his story, then get her story out. But do you think yeah, but oh, what if sorry. what oh, if God. he's like all right, cause remember, I do this like content creative shit, yeah. right? Now everything is strategic. That's so what if he knew that would boom, be better? Like he, yeah, that's he what I was gonna say. Interviewed Shorty and it was stir up controversy for my, for my and thing. then interview you actors. So that way, you know, it would bring more traction to it. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like that makes sense. That's what I was going to say. See, I'm not say. thinking like y'all now. Yeah, That's y'all yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm not thinking like that. It makes sense though. That mm -hmm. does make sense. That's a fact. I mean, I think I and like I know I'm. He met P films too. P yeah. films like he a humble yeah, dude. Cool guy, he doesn't come off. He doesn't try yeah, to be bro. a tough guy. No he doesn't him. feel me. Yeah, yeah. Man, I, I had no problem. I was gonna do an interview with him today. Uh, you know you? that nigga be boxing too, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So, did you have any other name before Blockwork? Like, what made you pick the name Blockwork? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, really boy, why not? Why not top shelf I, or like designer or some <laughs> shit? Zaza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really, really like, gumbo. Right, <laughs> some shit. Niggas call, start calling me Blockwork like before the Zaza came about. Like okay, Zaza okay. talking shit. Like mm -hmm. niggas start calling me Blockwork when it was just to get the sour and shit. Like go get the sour, go get the like from piff, whatever you gonna call your okay. weed. There was no mm -hmm. Zaza coming about. Like okay. nobody mm -hmm. had that saying when my name block was given to me. Blockwork, like you feel me? That shit was not a thing. So I was just on the block all day and I really I ain't gonna lie, I got that shit from playing ball. And I stopped playing ball. And I was like, fuck it, I ain't gonna change my name. You feel me? I fuck with this name and shit. How did that yeah, how did, you get yeah, block, block work, work from, from playing ball? Yeah. I was just playing ball one day. On I'm, a block? You just getting a nigga's work a block on the block. Tournament. <laughs> it was a block tournament. I okay. came in late. I'm walking in, smoking and shit. Late for the game. My coach throw me in. He like, fuck it, see what he can do with this nigga. How are you about mm -hmm. to go out here and stink it up? I actually go out there and turn up and shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. So commentators start like for me, this is a nobody, but we got to create a name for him. And mm. uh, he on the block all the time. We see him on the corner over here. He came straight to work. So mm. I just oh, took that Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Now okay. I understand. And, I and mean, it was a thing in my hood, though. Like, people, it was a thing. Like, clockwork, block work, it was a thing already. So mm -hmm. people was just like, fuck it, pass it down to him. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm just, that's okay. me, bro. At the end of the day, yeah. I never heard nobody else in my hood with that name. I don't like being like people. I don't want nobody yeah, else. Yeah, I like the name. fact that you I ain't got it. Like, I don't want to be T dot, Chicago B -dot. nigga. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. like you know, that. I don't want to be like nobody. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want people to say why is his name is Blocko. Yes, so I want to be myself. That's you, it. You came from a ball playing background. Who are your favorite basketball player? Oh, uh, so I, said, I got a couple. Like, okay, I say Giannis, LeBron, John Morant. Giannis, LeBron, John Morant. So what? what about the niggas before them? You right. like that's what I'm saying. Like, all right, so if I had hell? to go before them, yeah, like all time, yeah, you're five, yeah. you out. You five want to say start five? Yeah, you're five man. of all time. Six, start. Oh, okay, I, you get a six man. I go Lebron. Okay. Yeah, five Jordan. more. Jordan. Kobe. Uh huh. Greats. Ooh. Then I got like my couple favorite like. I'm not like everybody else that's going to say Shaq or something like that. I like people... I used to play ball, so I like people who used to play like me. But I say Ja. I got to throw John in. people that I'm seeing in my generation and got to watch and actually oh, respectfully. play on TV. Like, I can cut the TV on and watch and not watch highlights. Like, yeah, I can yeah, feel yeah, this, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. I can sit here and watch this nigga live TV and be like, like while it's going on now in your time. Mm, yeah. This nigga just did that shit. Like, you feel me? I can feel this shit right now. So, more grasping to that, but Ray Allen... Okay. That's going to be you my... One no, more. I, said, I said five already? Yeah, you got one more. One more. You, you said Ja Moran. I'll go Ray Allen and I'll take... Ray Allen go goaded. I ain't going to Yeah. I'll take like Kevin Garnett. That's one okay. of my Okay. And who do you... Yeah, that's, that's who, 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 my guys like, who do you play I'm most like? Who do you play out of that? I ain't going to lie. I'll who take do you like play? the game and athleticism from Ja and then like my... How do you like my personality, Kevin Garner? Like, I'm gonna talk shit all the time. Dream, give me a little dream on green in there too. Like I'm bunch of people, me and nigga in the nest right now. I think I, 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 I gotta have like one of them. Like where we rent a gym out, yeah. Had a nigga that say they play balls, yeah. and we play. This nigga niggas. right here, he 
Yo, bro, he always Cooking? comes out with his, his Celtics jersey. He got his Celtics <laughs> jersey, he I mean, puts Celtics, on. Celtics and I, 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 I be cooking. Yo, nah, that's what I was younger. I was a Celtics fan. Like, I don't know why. Yo, bro. My mom got a picture of me when I was a kid with a Celtic with a Ray Allen jersey. Yeah. That's why I like Ray Allen. This nigga, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a like, Celtics fan. Yeah, he yo, comes bro. out with his jersey. Why, like, bro. Every, like, every, every time, every time, bro. With the jersey in the I love Paul Pierce, like Bondo. Like, I just love that old team. Yo, I ain't gonna front. I'm five now, but I play like I'm at least six three, bro. Nah, yeah, that's this why. nigga six four. I didn't. He didn't watch me. and him play on the court <laughs> together. He'll tell you, bro. You I'm, nigga, I'm retired. You. I'm retired. Yo, that's you it. can't put that on nothing. <laughs> I wanna get me gotta do buckets. That. You gotta get a gym. <laughs> buckets. Yeah, yeah. You gotta. We might no. have to get a gym and. So, so, oh, 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 drill rap, all right. In the yeah. drill rap, I'm about now, to say it. Yeah, now, it will be, we might have to get a giant. So, I can't give you buckets, as you say. I'm probably the best rapper, like, Buckley, like, like in New York? No. Anywhere. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> what about what about niggas like Dirk and them, bro? Who? Dirk and them. Little Dirk? Yeah. <laughs> Dirk and Ball. Yeah, what about, what about, what about? Yo, yo, cuz, bro. Like, so, you, so, you telling me. I right. used to take Ball, like, yo. I, but then it's like, Chris Brown's not a rapper. It's, but he does both. I'm young, bro. Chris, I got energy, but I don't think Chris Brown could stick around with me for a whole five nice or five though, bro. He's not, he's Yo, not I'm average, good, bro. bro. Like, he, I'm not, t- he really when I was ball, playing bro. ball, I can't lose it. That's Yo, how good I am. J. Cole is a ball player. Yeah. But you know how niggas play ball? Like, and tell you, I can never lose it. I can never lose this shit, bro. I hop on the court right now. Today I'm live with the nigga thirty, bro. Nah, that's five v five. I can't play one on one. With me, that. bro, I'm the same way. I'm just too you small. Just got that competitive. So if you're bigger yeah. than me. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. already like an advantage. We can't play one v one. Let's play five. I'm gonna get my four guys. We gonna mm-hmm, run it. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Just but like we that, should bro. start now. Nah, we should start that up. Like that would be. We, lit. we see now that we said it, somebody gonna steal it. Yeah, but then yeah, somebody gonna. That's do it. how I always do. We say it. Yeah, you gotta keep the idea. Yeah, they gotta give you us gotta that bread. Yeah, tracks, right? that ass yeah. though. Now, I ain't gonna nah, front. That's a, that'd that'd like tough though. What I wanted to do, like before the ball shit. Well, I probably could get niggas to do the ball shit, but I wanted to do the boxing shit. You yeah, feel I, me? I feel like a lot but, of niggas wouldn't do that though. Yeah, yeah. that's what it, I, because it would take like, yo, bro, pride. Nigga, this is how real it was. I was promoting this a lot shit of pride, so a lot of, much. Like, paperwork to get done Judah, for shit. You know, Jab Judah, the, the boxer. Yeah, that nigga hit. That nigga, they they hit me up, right? I'll be doing. And I'll told do me it. like, yo, we got the gym and all of that. The venue, you Fort. just gotta promote the shit and get niggas the rappers gonna be to come money do off this shit. shit too, bro. Yeah, I t- what the fuck? I get nobody ain't wanna to do it. The shit. only niggas that was with it was niggas like Op and Famo Banger. Nobody was with it. I mm-hmm. do it. I ain't gonna lie. All I gotta do for me. Give me a time. Right. Start, get, get back my coach. Conditioning. Yeah, yeah, it's a shit. training. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, Yo, I'm still going to make money draw, off of it. Man. Win, lose, or whatever. Bank, I'm still bro. making money out. It's just publicity. Right. Niggas actually, scared, I'm niggas showing scared I'm scared not pushy. Niggas can't yeah. throw hands. Nobody. Right. Nowadays, everybody want to go pick up their gun and shoot somebody. Facts. That's not the resolution of everything. Mm. Sometimes you could just really fight somebody and be like, damn, my nigga, that was a good fight. You feel me? Shake it out with the nigga. Go smoke with the nigga. And it should be resolved like that. Like... And it's weird. I noticed that shit before. Like it used to be so easy, like that. You just fight, and either I win or I lose. I'd be like, "Shit, that's my man's, bro." We had a little shit. Maybe I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Yo, shit, we him saying now. that remind me of Lee Drilly, like, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, he, Yo, what you? What's your perspective on Lee Drilly? I ain't gonna lie. He like a real. Sh- I don't know if I want to say spiritual, but the way the nigga speak, he be like, like a smart guy. He like a head on his shoulders, bro. Yeah, like, he was like, he probably Car- is he Caribbean? Like I'm African. Not- Sure. I spoke to his mom, but she seems like she's she might be all old? American. Old? Huh? Old? old his mommy is an old mom, like a young mom. His mom is not like his mom probably like if I would say probably like late thirties, maybe. He just moves like he got a late thirties. His mom's like, definitely old. Like he like was raised by his grandma or something. He is. Like he definitely moves like he was raised by his grandma. He got like an old soul. He ready wise and shit. Like he know what he yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like if he gonna do something, you know what he's doing. But yo, you know what's funny? He meditated, like he not gonna let you know it or you whatever. See, you see when I asked you if you had like older niggas in your corner and shit, right? Yeah. Lee Drilly definitely does. He got some older niggas in his corner. Mm-hmm. They came with, with him at the podcast as well. And like these niggas, they like my age or older than me type shit, you feel me? Yeah. And them niggas probably like, I think, that, I think they was older than me. It's one of them yeah. that was like yeah, my yeah, age yeah. though. Yeah. But- Niggas was talking and they was like, yo, bro, you know, they watch my shit and shit like that. And they like, yo, you know, 
like you said earlier, real recognize real, yeah. you feel me? And they like, yo, they could tell by the shit I speak, you know, you been through certain shit, shit you can man. relate to it, you feel me? It's like a nigga, if a nigga say, yo, I got a clip hanging out of 38, you know he ain't no shooting, bro. That's a fact, Fuck bro. you got a clip in a 38, nigga. Yeah, 38 bro. is a fucking revolver, sure, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, certain shit niggas just be saying. Saying? Sound cool, nigga gonna say yeah, it, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, now, that, that, niggas, like, they was talking to niggas and shit, and they like, yo, you feel me? Certain shit I say relatable, whatever, whatever. We talking off camera and they like, yo, you know, like, son, he really, he really what he say he is. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So they like, yo, we trying to, like, take him away from that shit. You feel me? And when I heard that shit, I'm that's like, yo, that's though. some real ass shit. Because that's what I do with my young boys, you heard? You feel me? My little bro and them niggas, them niggas is not even in Brooklyn no more. Because once them you niggas, figured it out... Word. You can be bigger than that. Exactly. If you don't exactly. figure it out, then you got to just let a guy fend for himself in that hood and Thank do whatever you, you want to do. You can't Thank stop a guy that hasn't figured it out yet, bro. Exactly. Like he has to get burned by that fire first to be like, all right, shit, it's not what I want no See? more. Like, but you say burn by the fire first. Sometimes you can avoid getting burned by the fire if you're humble enough to take heed to when somebody's telling you something that's beneficial to you. But I think yeah. he said that because that's what... Happened to you? Yeah, that's what I've been through. I just had to learn. That's why I feel like I feel so like a lot of people headed. in this, in this, like these young my mm. people, my drill rappers, just like me, everybody else, hard headed. They don't want to listen to my else. They get some money in their pockets. They get a little drip. They get some girls. You start like, to feel like you that nigga. I ain't see you I get been, girls. I, I ain't see you get money. I, been I ain't see you pull up with this car too. <laughs> and it's I just like, bro, you can't tell me nothing if I ain't never like yeah. you 30, 40. I don't care yeah. how old you are. Yeah. I never seen you pull up with no Lamborghini on this block. Yeah, what are you yeah. telling me, bro? Yeah. They start moving like they run it and it's like flipping the shit around. It's not supposed to be like that. Yo, you know what's Morals, funny? bro. Like, fuck that you shit, know bro. We funny? have opportunities. We have the internet. Yeah. We have the, they didn't our old heads didn't have this shit to do this, bro. See, but what they did have was structure, mm. and that's what we like. That's a good yeah. rebuttal. They had that's structure. a good rebuttal. Feel me? Everybody thinks that materialistic things matter, matter. in real life. It don't. It don't. Because guess what? Your same friend that you grew up with, went to junior high school with, it kill you for some bands. That's right. right. Same nigga, it line you for some bands, snitch on you. You feel right. me? Same nigga when you get locked to fuck your bitch. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, now, when you got that structure- you feel me? And morals now. You don't see like how nowadays niggas say, yo, um, if you're not in the street and you tell you're not a snitch. Yeah. Back in the day it was never that. Nigga, if you told you told you were a snitch, period. That's a fact. We don't care if you was 10 years old and you told you was right. a fucking, fucking snitch, snitch. nigga. Fact. You snitched, bro. Cause real niggas shit grown up, I'm an island nigga, bro. Niggas My parents always tell shit, me, bro. See and blind, hair and deaf. Nigga, right. you don't see you that's what I'm saying, bro. Right. That's Exactly. So that's the structure. That's one thing about like. me too. Like, I just never really like care for that shit, bro. Cause that nigga could really put pull up the paperwork and show mm -hmm. me this shit. Like, I see. It don't the, bother me, bro. Cause I'm the, the cool snitching. And, the snitching like, allegations is going far, right? Like it's going mad far. Where it's like it's stretched out way too long, right? So now if you didn't actually snitch and they know you didn't actually snitch. What is making it be prolonged so long? Like, why is niggas even still having this conversation now? Did you ever provide paperwork to show that you never snitch? Did you ever get your discovery and say, yo, look, this is my discovery when I got locked up? Um, I ain't gonna lie, niggas seen the footage. Niggas seen, like, I had headphones and I wasn't talking. I, was the guy, I wasn't the guy talking. Niggas seen everything. But I feel like the whole thing yeah, is but just because. Me <laughs> being a street nigga, right? I got a rebuttal to that, too. Because I'm going to play devil's advocate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you had headphones and you didn't say nothing. That's a given. Got that right there. But what about after the fact when you got to the station now? What was said at the station? The station we don't shit have, was recorded too. We don't have that. That's I never was, seen nah, that. That shit was recorded. That shit on the tube where they put the shit up and I'm in the motherfucking station like right in front of the shit. After that, there's no other footage because we was never no talking. We not, mm. Nothing's oh. getting said. I'm going downtown, my lawyer. Like They actually have the footage. Of when we was in the precinct and the I'm standing there and the cop said, Rakim, you know what you said? You know what made us go in that car? And I'm just sitting there. You had the, for this shit on the tube, like for real, the shit really on the tube where we standing in the precinct. So it was like no moment where niggas could prove what Blocky said something. No paperwork on me because I didn't do nothing. I, I got the discovery from my shit mm -hmm. and it's paperwork from Keem. 
Ooh. I'm a few. Like, I'm it's a from few. King, bro. Like I ain't want to really gas like he told, but it's paperwork on him, gang. I right, watch this, right? Yikes. You just what you based on what you just said, right? Me being the nigga that been in and out the system when the judge did time a lot. It's nothing to brag about, but I have to say that so that people understand that my perspective it, it holds weight, right? Yeah. When come the cops, they do that trickery shit. Now niggas will say, yo, Keem, yo, you said this in the car whole time make now. You hearing to, him saying that. Me to, and then it's like, oh yeah, this nigga just told on me. Yeah, nah, make, I'm gonna try st- to switch your shit on him now. Stirring nah, the pot. You know what I'm stirring the pot. Do. Type nah, I'm a smart nigga, so let me mm-hmm. tell you this. I know my laws. Mm-hmm. We in a cab. I'm not the driver. Mm-hmm. Keem's not the driver. They said they pulled the cab over. If I read my whole discovery, I know why this case happened. I know everything that this cops try to build up and say that they locked us up for. Mm. They said the cop, the, the cab driver made a traffic infraction, which he turned into the from the biking lane to his thing. Did they Without give him you. a ticket? No. They pulled up to the driver and said, are these guys giving you a problem? They wow. didn't say, ask him anything about his driving. They mm. didn't say anything about his traffic infraction. They mm. went straight to the back. The probable cause for the search was him speaking. Mm. Like, still was, not, you know what's crazy? That's still not probable cause. cause. That's because, and that's why, I'm, that's why I got- That's just suspicion. That's what I'm saying. That's Did why me? the case- I'm getting that shit resolved, and I'm getting the benefit of the doubt out that out that shit now because they, they that wasn't right. They was supposed to pull it's, the car it's, over. It's, con- it's not it's, on us. We're not the drivers. How are we yeah. getting searched? It's By considered legal, an illegal search. search and seizure. Yeah, that's what it is. Whenever you're a passenger a vehicle, especially a public vehicle as a taxi, yeah. Whenever they get pulled over for any reason, they're supposed to just tell a passenger. Get out and get yeah. another cab. That's I'm not driving it. That's and that's it. What's like, the problem? Or are you gonna wait till the situation is resolved? They're not supposed to search you. None. They of that just shit. said that. They said that though. Mm-hmm. Say that. Like they seen us get in the car. They seen who it was. Two rappers. You know, two rappers. They know what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, respectfully. I know. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So they hopped in the. We hopped in the car. They seen what was going on. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I never get like I know what's going on right now. Like I know this whole situation in my head. I'm not mm-hmm. panicking. At this point, bro, I see these niggas behind us, bro. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna hop out this bitch and dip. Like, you feel me? I ain't finna stay. But I'm like, hold on, you feel me? Blocky think, like, use your head, like, you feel me? I I ain't driving this bitch, bro. What the fuck I did wrong? Like, I'm just thinking, like, you feel me? Laws, bro. Like, what I did wrong, bro? I'm walking, I hopped in the cab, bro. So I'm just like, let me play it cool, feel me chill. At the end of the day, bro, I'm not driving this car. There's no reason why they pulled this over and can have a a live reason to search me. Tell you something, little bro. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Anything that's on you is yours, right? Now, let's say you did run. Hypothetically speaking, anybody that's watching in the situation, you decide to run. If you decide to run and you drop that shit a certain distance away from where they stopped you at, mm-hmm. and you get away from where it's at, technically that's not yours. The only way to prove that's yours now is yeah, DNA yeah. or fingerprints. Yeah, mm-hmm. feel me? And now you could have said, "Yo, I ran because I have bad." Nah, but you feel me? And that I have anxiety. Like, think of how I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> or, nah, I got bad experience with police. That too, anxiety. Because we I, all do, bro. Uh-huh. These niggas take advantage of niggas all the time. I'm in my head. I'm just thinking like this. My man's at the moment. We both like we 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 just about to go to a video shoot. You feel me? We perked up. This nigga looking like he don't want to run. So I'm like, I'm not gonna leave this nigga. I'm not the type of nigga. Like, I know I'm I'm fast, nigga. I'm quick. I was <laughs> I'm getting going. Right. Like in my head, that's my first instinct. Like, yo, if I hop out right now, <laughs> cut around the cemetery, <laughs> hop, it's over. I'm hopping the gate. They not seeing me. I lay down next to a grave real fast. Let <laughs> me play dead or something. But like at that point, I'm just like, yo, it's my man's. I ain't gonna, I don't want to run on this nigga leaving. Cause at the end of the day, we were in it. We in, in my head, we're in the same position, but mm. we wasn't in the same position. So it just. So, threw me off, bro. So now, what this like? He's locked up right now. Mm. Is that the same situation he's locked up for? Nah, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Everything be tele. Yo, they televised. All right, mm. all right. So, so they, yeah, they push it out there and point it in the direction when they want to point it in the direction. Like you feel when me? They, and they got you? locked up prior. We came home, make music together. Like they clearly seen the video when Keem was getting pulled over in front of that white car. He got locked up. Like the video was dead. This shit is on the internet. This mm-hmm. nigga got booked prior after. My charge and what happened at that day, I don't really like speaking about it, but he didn't have anything on him. Like I, I it's just, just you didn't t- there's no charge that he hadn't he didn't take a charge that day for anything. So prior he get charged, he's period. not locked up for anything that has to do with nothing. I took my shit. 
as a man. Mm-hmm. I had a lawyer for that. She spoke on it. I put her on live about it. Like, the shit's so crazy, I leaked her number by accident about it. And I tell her to this day, like, I apologize. She had that number for 10 years. Like, mm. you feel me? Like, how that do to a lady that got kid, like, parents, grants, yeah. like, that been calling that number. Now she got to change that number. Mm-hmm. Calling these YouTube sites, like, take this down, take this down, and yeah, doing yeah, all this yeah. work. So I just thought about that shit, and I was just like, bro. Mm. So, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I got a question. How do Talk you to feel- the mic. How do you feel about the NYC drill scene right now? Well, that's a good one. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like right now, it's watered down, bro. A lot of people, like, the drill is not real no more. Like, before, it used to be real authentic, like, scrappy. Like, you could see it in the videos. Sometimes you hear the niggas' lyrics and shit, like, Mm -hmm. to where you can listen to a nigga's song and be like, damn, I know this nigga going through it right now. Like, Mm -hmm. you don't really hear that many songs like that now. Now it's just like, I'm gonna yeah. put out whatever they want to hear. To piggyback off a little upper, who, which borough you think had the best drill um, run? No, mm. better yet, which borough do you think had the better drill rappers? Okay, better drill rappers. We gonna we obviously got to say like successfully better drill rappers, Brooklyn. Okay, Respect. thank you. Five E, Pop Smoke, okay. like Jay Guapo, KJ Buller. Like I can keep going down the list, bro. Okay, okay. Sleepy Chef. Like, so you got on, bro, like, you got Brooklyn Chef first. It's the difference with Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn, these niggas be doing some smart shit. They get the drill, do it. They stick together. They not really breaking apart with niggas. Like and they gonna elevate it. Like, mm-hmm. you got a lot of niggas that do it, but they gonna change it after a while. Like, you can see, like, some people that was doing Brooklyn Joe before, shifted off. Ace number nine, all these other people, mm-hmm. where they went, they couldn't, Ben Bino, they couldn't elevate it to another level. Mm-hmm. But what made Fabi and all these other people different is they found a way to elevate it. You was it. watching. He's been watching. He, you were, you, you've been watching I'm this shit. You, bro. He's a historian, see, bro. You see, this is a good the thing. The names though, that he's saying. That shows bro. your intellect yeah. aside from your, your counterparts. Now, now maybe that that could be a reason why you get the fight you get as well because you got a different perception from niggas. You feel what I'm saying? And when you at the age you are, if you don't see the things that the same way everyone sees it, you become an outca- a outcast. Yeah. Like growing up, my grandmother, and my grandfather they used to say, "A stone that the builder refuses becomes the head corner stone." You know what I'm saying? So, like, basically, the first should be the last and the last should be the first type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, the nigga that nobody expected to be that nigga becomes that nigga. You know what I mean? Black sheep shit. Yeah. This is what it is. So, nigga, with all that being said, like, now, me actually getting to talk to you, like, I get a different perception of you myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Nah, that's a fact. At first... At first, like I'm, I'm gonna tell you, bro. At first, I thought like, you when a... me and you went back and forth. At first, I'm like, yo, I hate this slow. Like, real yeah, bro. Shit. I, nah, I'm like, yo, I seen I you on the internet, no nah, cap, bro. Like when I get mad, I was like, I like that, it's mm, like bro, that, bro. I was like, yo, bro, we was, mm. we was on the ride coming here. We was like, yo, this nigga better not be a dickhead, bro. I kid you not, yeah, just bro. off the internet. But yeah, like, so, I ain't gonna lie, sitting down and talking to you, bro. Nah, but like, I don't know, bro. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm growing and shit though, bro. So. I don't know if y'all ever seen my interviews or probably shit like. I hope that your your level of growth inspires other people. I wish we could do that, bro. Like to, how Brooklyn me? be like elevating every like they do it. Niggas do it different in Bronx, but we can't get a nigga on a song with nobody. So who you? Who, you know oh, why? I you know why that's no... going on in the Bronx though? Because the Bronx is younger than. The yeah. Brooklyn wave was. That's a fact. Like Everybody niggas was, in Brooklyn, yeah. like most of the niggas that drill rap in Brooklyn, they Older. didn't did time before, came home. Came home, now you they doing me? the drill for Yeah, real. so they yeah. already know how this shit nobody work, you in, feel me? Nobody really been through that already. They just scrambling exactly. still trying to so live for the clout and the exactly. internet and shit, bro. You feel me? And now they going, no, okay, so now after- Now they going through yeah, it. Yeah, not, so after Look Brooklyn, at, who would- A lot of people before, locked up before, now, Before you even say what you say, K-Flock just recently- Saying that he senses. wanted to get to the what what was a gun gun what gun some activist shit. He tried oh, to basically do. stop gun violence. Yeah, yeah but right? you know his lawyers getting him on that See? so they can find him a way out. But okay. I ain't gonna front. Listen, that ain't gonna work. If that's that a strategy work, they New doing York? to say to tell him to say that, so that that's not gonna In work. York, that but ain't gonna work. it's nine times out of ten. He might actually be in there and he like, damn, son, I used to be with a hundred niggas when I was outside. Everybody used to pull up on the block when I come outside. I'm niggas used to call my phone all the time. 
Yo, bro, time. when I call niggas now, I don't get an answer. Yo, nobody ain't put no money on my books. I ain't getting no package. So now you start to see, and you like, damn, son, I was really out here fouling out. Nah, that's a mm-hmm. fact. Know what I mean? And I that's when you start don't to listen lose. to King so no more, but when he's not here no more, you don't see him physically, can't drop Out of sight, phone. out of mind. Yeah. It's like, he's not really here. You forget about him. It's not like you want to forget about him. But you don't. But nigga tough, bro. It's my hot, bro, but- Knew him before he was my op. Like we sitting down right now, we've been like, bro, we was cool before. Like yeah, yeah, locked yeah. up with this nigga. We was friends, ops. Mm. We was friends, op. Like this shit, like yeah. this shit weird, bro. Like I was cool with this nigga. I fought with this nigga. I, I don't understand how we having problems now, but mm-hmm. I'm seeing like, bro, tough. He could rap and shit. So I understand how that came about. And I watched that thing, and I actually listened to the whole thing, bro, mm-hmm. just to actually hear like how he thinking, mm-hmm. see if it's genuine. Like when, yep. you, when I was in jail, that's what made me think about my whole life, bro. Like you know what? I think if I never went genuine? to jail, I'd be in jail right now. You know what I think is genuine? Because he's in jail, right? And I doubt anybody wrote him some shit to read off of because yeah. the way he's delivering what he's saying sounds like he's just talking straight off his chest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody reading some shit, you can tell. It just yeah, sounds different. You feel me? He's just talking, when, going on. He got yeah. hell of shit to say. And, and he haven't this talked is, to nobody, but that nigga in a room by himself, bro. That sound like the nigga, the first nigga he talked to this month or some shit. Like this nigga was waiting to talk to somebody, bro. And that shit type of that type of shit should change everybody's mindset on everything. That's a fact. So like I, understand Ready to be go for sure and stuff that need to be ready to go for. Okay. Your mom, your family, your people mm-hmm. that are trying to play say with that you. Say that again. Say that again. Say just say it again. Stop say to it. Go outside and just mm-hmm. know what a gangster is for real, bro. A gangster is not just waking up. I'm finna crash out today. I'm finna catch the body. Like yo, just add one yo, to the list. Yo, like, this is real it is, bro. I, one of my mans, right? It's it's his mans too and shit, right? My son 23, shout out to 23. Yes. Some of the fans that's watching know who they he is. Bumblebee. Right? Bumblebee. My, yeah, right? My <laughs> man's right. He kind of remind me of 23 a little bit too, right? <laughs> the nigga, the nigga 23 was moving from New York, right? And he pulled up to my crib and he like, yo, bro, I'm out. And me and him, like, real close, like we make moves together. I'm about to go do some shit. He making that move, you feel uh, me? Yeah. So like when he was dipping, he asked me like, "Yo, bro, what you think?" and shit. And me being a real nigga, I was. Yeah. I said to him, "I say, bro, because like I'm older than two, three. You feel me?" I said to him, "I say, bro, whatever it is that you're going to do, you're gonna get a new start, and you could take whatever you're doing now to the next level, bro. Go ahead, bro. You feel me? Go ahead, son. Do your thing. You feel me? I ain't." I ain't looking at it no way, none of that shit. Go ahead, bro. Go do your thing. Now, right now, bro, doing his thing. And you he know, doing great. He pull up my birthday, end of the year, my birthday, December and shit. He be pulling up in December just to pull up to celebrate my birthday and go back two days after type shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? I might sound selfish, but that shit kind of fake hurt me when he left, bro. Yeah, it's different. Yo, yeah, when you real my close son, to somebody, yeah, it's, it's like, different. Nah. I, that's yeah. my... It was my... Like, I'm telling you, that's like my... I ain't gonna lie, that's my my dog, mm-hmm. my dog, my dog. Like anything he was down for. So it's like yeah. him leaving, it was like I felt like it was kinda selfish, but he had to do it for the betterment of himself. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know what? That's what how I do you doing. feel like now now we just enlightened you about how we feel when kind of our dogs in them and separating from our dogs in them, whether it be because they gotta move to start some new shit, or whether it be for the better in or for your worse. situation, or you, you fall out. Or what, how do you feel like with the niggas that you actually got that love for? How do you feel when y'all separate from each other? I ain't gonna lie, I feel like for the good and for the bad. Like you, oh my guys, like free Dolo, At, Rundown. Like I feel like we play a major factor in Bronx Drew as a whole. Like my block period with them. Why you say Bronx drill like, yeah, if y'all from home? Because we major members. Like I can't really say too much, but like yeah, I was associated at one point with. It wasn't Bronx even the associate. The association happened because we was that much of like we was that much of them. Like we was steppers, bro. We was stepping. We didn't mm-hmm. know these guys from a hole in the wall. They just wanted to associate with us because we was stepping. They mm-hmm. had a lot of ops and they needed more niggas to take them on with. Mm-hmm. We was stepping, so they just wanted to fuck with us. So. Mm-hmm. And that's just how it came about. It was, that's how I knew it wasn't no love from the jump. These guys just want to fuck with us because we're thought, putting on I right now. I thought y'all bro. linked up based on certain niggas might have went to school with certain nah, niggas. Yeah. Nah, you nah. Feel Back me? in the day, actually, we used to beef. 
Mm. For real. Like a lot of people don't even know and don't let this shit be known. Like we wasn't mm. supposed to be cool. Mm. Our young niggas getting this shit fucked up. Like you said, it's structure. Mm-hmm. Back in the day it was static. Why are we even cool with these niggas? Like they only want to get cool with niggas because you know, niggas got a lot of op shit. They owe, we owe, we need to fight niggas. They just they can help us. I was like, nah, bro, not every help is good help. Yeah. So it's like it, it got so many I I remember I like I was locked up at one point with certain niggas that was like YG, you feel me? Um, I was locked up but OY niggas as well. But then now y'all got it's it's YG OY and OY OG or some or OY OYG, right? Cause I ain't gonna lie, that OYG shit mm-hmm. is just that's basically Basically our shit, bro. Like it's, no, we just don't YG add shit? the G. That's basically our shit. Like original young gangsters, we just don't add the G because you feel me. I fuck with the G's, bro. That G shit dead, so we just cut it. Oh like original. Mm-hmm. Oh you feel me? The O Y O G shit, they shit is some shit that they just created, bro. OG? Dumb niggas in Cortland used to be Y G. It was no O Y O G's like mm. back in the day. Like this shit on the tube, dude. Like. When I was getting into the streets and shit, like if an older nigga not gonna put me on, nigga, it's history about this shit. These yeah, niggas famous and shit. So yeah. I'm going to YouTube and Find I'm finding videos about these niggas beef and shit. You bugging, I'm gonna know what's up for real. So like, I'm gonna know where to stand about shit and know like, how is this coming about? I'm not gonna be sitting in situations with niggas and niggas linked up and I'm oblivious to shit. So mm-hmm. I'm sitting about shit and I'm just seeing like, bro, niggas used to fight and niggas used to spend niggas block all the time. Niggas was not cool. <laughs> niggas used to rob niggas. Niggas used to beef. Nigga tired. Nigga, go tired. ahead, now, go ahead. Yeah, that shit just not like it's not the way it was before. So I just feel like I don't know, bro. Niggas ain't need to be cool with them. They wanted to be cool with us. Mm-hmm. But they have been. It's like we I ain't gonna say so, we ain't need them or they ain't need us, but it's not sometimes it's not best always for a team up, bro. You got brothers, bro. You got twenty, you got ten brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got ten brothers, bro. That team up might fuck everybody up, bro, because now we don't know really like what to do and shit like. Nah. We you, need you be, say that all the time. Yeah, no link up. No link up. Let's just stand for ourselves, bro. Yeah. We got us, bro. It's 10 of like, us. We could be cool with who we are. We 100 men. Don't bro. Got a team if up. we that strong, we 100, 100 men. Trust yeah. me, bro. That's on Jumper and Jules today. We're acting like we just 10 niggas, bro. We, yes, we 10 niggas, nigga. Bro, we bro, that we strong, 100 bro. men. We really nah, like 100 men out here, but we don't need a different perception and link up. Yeah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. That's a nice quote. We 10 niggas, but really 100 men. We just gotta be strong. Everybody gotta be on the same page, bro. Yeah. Simple. Man. We don't need all that hundred deep shit. That's not for the best sometimes, bro. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. So now, I know you don't like like Shy Ek and shit, right? I don't but know. y'all had like y'all biggest track. Both of y'all biggest track together. Yeah, that shit crazy. Cause it's like I made the song the majority, of it, but it was Tell, yeah, get into the details. It was like I can't. I I made the song. Went to the crib with the beat and shit. I read it. Nobody had faith in me in this time. I'm making songs and shit getting like 5K views, bro. It'd be like that. At this point, I'm just You got like, a following right now, too. You got a crazy following. Like 75K on YouTube, but At continue. this point, I'm... Yeah, that, that's when at this point, I'm just like... Honest subscribers. Who's managing you now? Nobody. I'm Myself? just like... Word? You got to sign the BMG Entertainment. <laughs> I'm just doing this shit alone, I ain't go bro. front. Real talk. I'm dead serious. I said it like a joke, but I'm dead serious. You got to fuck with me. Because now that I know that your mindset, you ain't on dickhead time and it's Not easier fact. to work with you, then you feel me? I don't like to work with certain niggas because yeah. I feel like investing my time in the bullshit... That shit gonna fuck up. You feel me? I don't have time for that shit. You feel me? But nigga, like... We gonna... We gonna... We gonna talk Wait, off, off camera, camera yeah. Right. Right. But continue but, what you're saying. My bad, bro. Nah, I, I just... I don't, wait, what was I saying? Damn. You, you speaking... You On the Shy K shit, how y'all linked up and made the most controversial song. Oh, yeah. Song. All right, so boom. The song. Basically, I wrote the song. Nobody was really believing me at the moment. Like, probably my day ones, like, my son Ray, a couple of the... Like, a couple of the bros actually, like, what influenced me to make the song... <laughs> Because you feel me, the bros, my bros went to jail. It was it was locked up for a little minute now, and I'm just like desperate at this point. Like I'm, I ain't got no money to send these niggas in jail and shit. I'm just like trying to find a way so I could get bro a little twenty, thirty dollars. Mm. So that was my motivation to make the song. I went to go 
My mom got me mad actually. Wanted to go <laughs> write the song. I'm like, yo, I'm not doing that. I'm not about to make it. All right, watch this. Go make the song. Boom. Turn the beat on. Glock made it. Found the beat like five minutes. I'm writing it. I'm writing it to the end. I wrote too much. Like I wrote too much. This is how much was the good shit. I wrote it. Went to the stool. I'm telling everybody from the block, like I'm spitting it on the waist to the stool with these niggas, they jacking it. And it's so crazy. Everybody telling me like, yo, where did my grandmother this shit finna go viral and shit? So mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm feeling it now. Like, all right, niggas know this shit gonna go viral. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm kind of feeling Give like me this that is better a good energy, song. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I go to the stool and shit. I bring everybody, I'm coming to everywhere with my block. Like, you feel me? That's a good feeling. I bring everybody that ever had faith in me, everybody that think I could do music. And I ain't gonna lie, like, Eli wasn't even there at this time. Like, he mm. was the one that really made me want to do music and shit. And I used to always, like, look up to bro when it came to, like, the music standpoint when I didn't know about anything to where I could yeah. bend for myself, for real. Yeah, yeah. I would have to ask him and shit, like, yo, mm-hmm. how you release your music? Oh, United Masters. How you yeah. get that shit on SoundCloud? Like, you feel me? I had to ask him and shit. Yeah, and he yeah. was the guy I, I would ask. He would put me on to help me about shit, but he wasn't even there about it. I don't know if he had, like, you know, shit to do or whatever, but... Mm-hmm. Shit happened. I went there. I felt some type of way that he wasn't there because you know the link up happened because of Eda and Shy K. So I'm already mm-hmm. feeling weird. Like, why the fuck is he not here? I'm initiating this shit. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah. was there in the studio. EK was there, but mm-hmm. not not there. So I'm like, it just feel weird. I don't know this nigga, bro. I mm-hmm. just know him because my guys know him. And I'm just yeah, like yeah, yeah. in the middle of this shit. So I go in there. They still charging me to go to the studio. By the way, like they don't fuck with me like, well, block come in here and record for free. I'm going to record who, and call in the projects in the project room. Oh wow! Like hey, man, closet man. room project shit, wow. project shit. Nigga charged me twenty five an hour. Like they don't fuck with me like that, bro. So I'm mm-hmm. going in there paying. So I paid for the shit, recorded it, boom. Niggas hearing it. They like, I mean, I go in there one take the shit, knock mm-hmm. the shit out in one take, bro. I probably like cut in the middle of it, do two takes. Tell them like, yo, me perfect it, make it good. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Go throughout the song. Before this, I was asking PJ Glizzy for a song. I'm telling him like, yo, bro, I'm I'm, I'm fucking with it, bro. I'm gonna get good. Like mm-hmm. I know my other shits wasn't like. But I'm working, bro. Mm-hmm. Fuck with me. Get me, you feel me? Get on the song. He like, nah, I need bread or whatever. Whatever he said at the moment. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, bro. Watch, bro. You feel me? Made the song. He was in the studio. You feel me? Gangsta nigga telling me, want to hop on this shot? I was like, nah, bro. I'm just not feeling anybody hop on this shit. And at the moment, like the link up and shit was happening, my guys kind of was telling me like, yo, put EK on it. You feel me? It's going to help you out right now. You just came mm-hmm. home. You feel me? You, you need, the, you need the, the clout. Mm-hmm. In my head, I'm like, bro, I could probably drop this shit on my own page and get the same mind of clout and I'm going to get off of it. But who's to say it was going to go that way? So yeah. I went that way with it. It happened. I wrote, I ain't going to lie, EK wasn't really, bro, come on, bro. EK wasn't even really, he so went wrote like- his verse, basically. I already see where he's bro, going. Bro, this guy went for like six, this <laughs> guy went for like going. 16 <laughs> bars. I see he it. came in the booth and was struggling. So I'm like, yo, come on, this shit not that hard, bro. Let me write yeah. a little 414, mm. get you started. He, he caught it. I ain't like caught it. He flowed for the last, the rest. The rest of his shit was his. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, dude talking a little bit. But that's it? Yeah. That's it? That's what you going to give me? Like, you the guy. You the guy that's stable already. You a rapper. Yeah, you lit yeah. already. Give me, give me something more. So sure. I'm like, f*** this nigga. This shit already fire. Throw the, throw the hook in. Mm-hmm. And we going to do it like that. Just leave him, man. I'm going to use him for the clout. At okay. that point, I was just like, f*** it. Because you don't f*** with me. You're not genuine. Yeah, you didn't yeah. say, I'm going to go, I'm going to wrap it out with this nigga. Try to go. Be ball him, be ball. better than him, like Drake and Twenty One Savage. Yeah, like, you know what it he was. He gave me a weak song, and it just happened to blow up. Cause of me, my nigga, I stepped on that. This what happened, right? This what happened when you when you work with certain people, and they already established. They, they look expect, at you like yeah. They expect you to dick rod. They expect you to. Like just appreciate whatever you give them. Yeah, you know what, I'm saying? That's, what they give that's, you mean whatever you give them. Not what, what you give, give them, like what that little thirty. Me. He wanted me to. I'm like, think I'm shy. K. That thirty was the. Like, okay, okay. Just because okay, I wasn't yeah. nothing at that time, and it's just Jimmy, like, yeah. Jimmy, I, I understand exactly. Like whack verse, and he's gonna, fact. he gonna be happy just because it's my voice. That's exactly Jimmy, why niggas do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, you feel and niggas feel like their thirty seconds holds that much weight mm-hmm. when it comes to like nobody songs. Like you can listen to a whole nobody whole mm-hmm. time. I just walked you down this whole time. You don't even know that. You just gave me a 30 seconds where you should have walked. Word. You should have did your thing on that because you feel me? For the rest of your career, niggas going to know what's going on, bro. Ain't fact. no other song viewed before that got much of that. After. Niggas noticed after he got signed. I got him signed after that and after everything. The computer pushed everything up yeah, because yeah, 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 after, yeah. bro. Like, come on, bro. Real what? views? So Real views was that. Everything. Every view is organic. So the full one and him... Being managed by the same nigga on four one and all that shit. What's up with all that? I ain't gonna lie. That's when I was. I did was you, with him. Did you link him with that nigga? No, he linked me with him. Oh, okay. he was. I was. That's when I was with him, and it's mm. just like 
I'm doing music with him when I made the DMV. So that's how you end up linking with 401. Yes, because that was okay. their manager and he picked him up after. So mm-hmm. boom, this Shy K manager at the time. I'm f- with him cool. I'm just trying to see if I can find a manager to help me out my music. We made DD. This the niggas who pay for his video, pay for his clothes, been paying for all his stuff and shit. So I'm like, boom, mm-hmm. they do shit for him. They probably a good team and shit. I'm trying to see what's up with the nigga. See if he's a genuine nigga. He f- with me. I start f- on Shy K falls out with the nigga. I'm a type of nigga where you feel me? Like, you feel me? You ain't. You ain't it's me. not my issue. You ain't slap me. Yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah. gangsta, bro, till I see you do me wrong, do some funny shit in front of me, bro, then that's when that's gonna happen. Yeah, you feel me? I ain't gonna business. treat that as you whatever. should. He probably was should. a funny nigga, bro. He, mm-hmm. You feel me? I can't blame that on you or him. I don't know what happened in the situation, bro. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, I'm like, I ain't gonna stop with the nigga. He felt like because he introduced you to him, you're supposed to fall out with him, too, basically. Nah, bro, that's funny shit, bro. He ain't do nothing to me, bro. It's not like this is a. A nigga that's potentially gonna do something to you. This is like a business shit, bro. I'm not trying to mm-hmm. lose no out no money because what? You didn't put me on in this situation, bro. Mm-hmm. No. He heard about me. Like I put my cell phone. I walked on him. People heard was hearing this shit and was like, whoa, 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 f this mm-hmm. nigga. We need to get next to this nigga. Contact this nigga. Yeah. And they was trying to push up on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was mad about that. This is why it happened, bro. Like it's like I'm trying to come in his way and steal his shit. This is like what I'm doing, nigga. I stepped, nigga, so everything that was coming from him was coming my way. The fat bitch uh, from, she's my, she's my Lego, she's my Lego, but from Toga to town, everybody was coming my way and was just like, you feel me? No. We got to see what's up with Block. He's actually the one who made this song. It's his shit. So I can't speak it. And shit. So it just was like, the nigga was more like, that's how I see that Bronx shit. Everybody be envying. He more like, just trying to, oh, fuck it, nah, if I can't get it or we can't get it, Fuck it for nobody, like nah, bro. At the end of the day, I'm trying to bring this shit in so niggas get a label call and I could tell you pull up too. Like we both go in the building and shit like that. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay. He wasn't yeah. trying to do the same, bro. It was just different. He getting calls, dodging me, telling me he not getting calls from labels and shit, bro. Like bullshit to, and like basic trying to leave you in the dust type. Yeah, shit. bro. A lot of people mm-hmm. was trying to invest into that soon. We even had a lot of opportunities to do features with big artists and shit that like I don't even want to like put names out because we didn't do it, bro. That's just so just such a disappointment. Like, nah, it is definitely it's not a huge is. record so, like that. We had artists that I wouldn't I even think, imagine hit me up to hop on that shit. To I hop think on. you actually through your through all the politics and all the adversity, you actually now you get in the mode where you like you learning and you got your head on your shoulders now. So now you're making moves with precision. Yeah. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's a fact. So when that you're making the tactics. moves with the precision, now it's showing the real block work. It's showing your real artistry. It's showing the, what you could have been, but you had to go through this. So now you are what you yeah. are. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. I made all that. That's the yeah. one thing I always. You feel me? I never get mad about like the position of my I'm in. I always tell people that around me too. Like you f- up around me, like. Shit going on with you, know. I don't want you feeling bad about your position. Don't ever feel like you gotta distance yourself from me, cause, bro, I'm gonna be that guy, bro. I'm gonna help you Definitely. if you need it, and I'm never gonna be like the guy to throw it in your face or do it. Like if I could do it for you, I'm gonna do it. For me, I ain't gonna say I could do everything for somebody in the world, but I'm genuine, bro. No funny shit, like, bro. Like speaking to you in person now, bro. Like I don't really I take a liking to everybody. Bro. I actually. You feel me? Now that that I'm speaking to you now, I actually take a liking to you. You feel me? Because now you able to take accountability for where you f up at, and you do not discredit nobody because of your personal feelings and all these things. Like me seeing and watching all this shit, a lot of niggas that's watching the drill scene, they don't have that maturity to see what I'm seeing. But the people who do, they see it. You feel me? That's why I get, bro. When I get mad and shit like that, that's why I be like that because I know I'm such a good person, bro. bro. But you human. You got to let it out sometimes. I don't be deserving that shit. I ain't going to say like, nigga, I'm the best person in the world, but when I put my best foot forward, bro, I'm really like... Genuine yeah, I'm just trying to do good, but yeah, I'm genuine. genuine. I ain't really mm. trying to backstab nobody or do nothing. If I don't like you, I'm saying to your face, let you know that. So you, you feel me? You make the decision. Separate what? yourself. Try to go ahead. You want to go battle, battle for me? Go ahead. But I let people know, bro. I ain't feeling you. I don't want to be around you. I'm going to let somebody know. You feel me? And I don't never got a problem with somebody not liking me. Like, you feel me? I feel like that's what makes me. People would you ever like make me. up with Shai K? Make up with him? If he was willing to admit shit, would you ever make up with him? Yeah, I got nah, I ain't gonna lie. One thing together. I don't play about, bro, my life, bro, like my family, bro, mm. like really my family, but bro. But he mentioned your family? Like my family, bro. Like yeah. talking, like the family talking shit, like I never spoke about his family until he spoke about my family. He went off that shit with the rip. He was never really my real friend and I see that shit. 
I never make shit up with him because it wasn't real from the jump. Like Let me all show my you old something. friends and shit. Any day them niggas could call me, ask me if we could do it, whatever. Niggas want to fight, shit, whatever. I don't give a f- but a old head told me this: niggas will kill for you, but niggas won't die for you. And I never understood that till I got older, right? Yeah, that shit weird. It's a lot of niggas that are put in work on your behalf, but at least you think it's on your behalf. But in all actuality, niggas be trying to build a name for themselves, so they do certain things to build up a name for themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All and right. you think they doing it on your behalf. They just doing it all you know for what I'm you, saying? just so they could uh, spin exactly. right past you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to understand, like, nigga, you can't do not ever have high expectations in people because you always going to be left with disappointment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stay for the worst all the time. Yeah, right. Hope, so, hope something good happen. So we about to wrap this up, right? So what do you, what would you <coughs> tell a person that's trying to inspire to be you or trying to follow in your footsteps or make a career for themselves in rap? I ain't gonna lie. One thing I'll say is just be true to yourself though. Like, yeah. You can't do anything without knowing yourself. You just always got to be honest. Like, life, 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 bro. You going to go through <laughs> stuff, bro. Like, Word. never give up on yourself, bro. Like, if you see potential in yourself, don't let nobody tell you about nothing. Mm. And I feel like the biggest thing is about being me is always staying humble and just don't always, you don't always got to jump the fence. Be patient. Know your time going to come. And just anything you're doing, you could be playing sports or whatever, you could just... It's the same mentality. I feel like you should always just have a head on your shoulders. And even if you don't have people in your corner, like like you said, like certain people do be telling you stuff that you need to listen, you just don't want to listen to. It be those people that you got to listen to. So right. I even grew up and learned older heads that told me stuff, like you said, be the ones that was really talking real shit. I'm saying mm-hmm. they're young, like, so old nigga chatting and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. it'd be, like, nah, be, like be like that. It'd be like I'm that. sitting here this whole it's time, time like, yo, it's old. You, you, know that shit. you don't want to hear that. Now yeah. I'm sitting here and in my bed at night, yeah, like, damn, it's that beneficial old to you no longer. Real shit. That so, too. And it's yeah, also, but that's the way they know how to bring yeah. it to you real. That's it. You feel me? Yeah. What you had to ask him, little upper? You be scared to ask your questions, guys. Nah, I'm not. I, 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 I wanted to ask like a few minutes ago, actually. Um, you said that you was in the same um prison as K Flock. Yeah. Was that with you and Keem too? Nah, when me and Keem was locked up, this was more after my rap career. I met K Flock like before my rap career, which is when I was younger. They have non secure detention was for younger people. It wasn't really like a juvenile facility, we're not locked behind the bars, which means like I'm in a bedroom with mud this area. Room. Like bedroom and somebody yeah. a staff is sitting at the door right here while we in a bedroom together. Like so you feel me? It was like a whole open space with a bunch of beds. Bed here, bed here, open space. Mm-hmm. Like bunk bed, bunk bed type mm-hmm. shit. Staff right here, staff right here watching everybody make sure nothing crazy happening. Oh, okay. You feel me? So it was that type of situation. I was younger, I got to know him and uh uh for me that's how the situation came about when we came home and like how we got cool with everybody and they thought it was about to be, you know, deal with OIOGs and mm-hmm. that's how I came about. Nobody knew him. I, you feel me? Dougie and that situation had nothing to do with nothing. Like for my guys know him and he used to call me and tell niggas like, I want to get in tune with niggas. I fuck with Eda and I, I feel me? And mm-hmm. I'm like jacking it because I know he genuine. I met him in there and shit. And yeah, he oh, was so cool that's nigga, how you niggas, niggas end up linking up on some... Yeah, I'm, yeah, and because I remember he was mad at Eda for smoking with who? Yeah, that's it? what started. That's what started the whole beef. And who's Eda smoking with? Um, somebody from RPT, which basically is YG. So y'all didn't have no beef with the RPT. No, we niggas. we definitely had beef. With so how niggas. the Eda end up smoking he with Busy Banks and, uh, and them niggas at the oh, time? Oh yeah, he definitely oh, was. Yeah, they yeah, put yeah, him yeah. in that situation, bro. Okay, okay. Like come pop outside, Eda, but they ain't tell him. The yeah, gonna them be niggas there. gonna be there. Uh, but that's uh, crazy. Though. See, but you see, this a thing though. As long as they, even though they brought him around niggas, they didn't fuck with, they didn't make it a situation where them niggas harmed him or did anything to him. Yeah. Feel me? They brought him in a space just to have, you know, the, a vibe. But that, you see, if everybody was thinking the right way and let their emotions go, yeah, that Some, could have been an opening right. to something great. Right. Right. Yeah, I feel like that was unnecessary. Brooklyn, both Bronx, Because at Harlem, the end of the day, I'm going to take, take my man's side at the end of the day. And that's how they're his yeah, man's too. Yeah, respectfully. That's what niggas it's like, you know, I'm going to choose his side. And that's what it was. It was like two niggas was like basically going through it. 
mm-hmm. they was just like both on some pick your side mm-hmm. shit. So mm-hmm. it was just like, bro, what the fuck you mean pick your side? You already know. This my man, this my side. Yeah, yeah. We ain't picking sides. We just going, you feel me? Fuck it. So it just happened like that. And I feel like that didn't have to happen. Because it was a situation where nigga called me and was like, I want to do fight. a part two of this I'm shit like, with you because yeah, I know you bro. got more shit to right. talk about so, too, son. You want to end I it? I definitely want to do You got anything else you, you know, want to ask him? Right. Yeah, like have you had any past altercations with K-Flock? Past altercation? Nah, not really. Like, mm-mm. When we was in, when we was locked up, we was all good. Like, it'd be cool situations where he telling me, like, he oh, talking to you. people from my neighborhood while I'm in there. And like, we were just cool to a certain point where it wasn't no static because at this point, we the only two niggas in the jails that got the same ops. Okay. Mm. Like, he don't f with YG, I don't f with YG. So, shit, we mm. just got along like that. And, okay, and, yeah. and he was a real, real nigga, bro. I don't, I don't care if we beat to the day, real nigga, bro. Like, right. A lot of niggas real, you feel me? But a lot of niggas not yeah. real, bro. So, it's just. What else oh, you got to ask? You got mm. good questions. <laughs> like your questions. Nah. I think that's it. That's is it? it? Yeah. All right. All right, let, we going to wrap it up. Yo, I ain't going to front. This was a great first interview. We definitely want to do a part two with you. Nice know what I mean? Like, I love the way you perceive everything. Like, now, at first, all right. I ain't going to say I held a grudge because I got over it because a long time ago. But at first, I did have a perception of you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now that I met you in person, I don't have that perception anymore. You feel me? I like you more as a person now because I get, you feel me? And hopefully, we get to sit down and do another, you feel me, interview because yeah. I know you got a lot more shit that we got to talk about that we didn't talk about. Nah, that's a and fact. It's a lot I, of real shit that need to be talked about. See, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, moving, I'm moving strategically because I know this. I could have asked you different questions that would have had, you know, everybody going crazy, but they I wanted ask to questions be- questions about it. You yeah. feel me? Second yeah. interview, yeah. we're going to get in depth and we're going to, you feel like me? A little cliffhanger. This interview uh, yeah, going to let everybody see your perspective and then we're going to go off of how they respond off of what you say now. Because now, if you came off authentically and you say, yo, you feel me? I got love for niggas and I'm willing to mention shit with certain people. And then if they say, yo, fuck you- now it's like without an explanation. Yeah, but it's still the same. I'm still gonna feel the same way. Now I'm gonna say if they have no explanation, then it's like, all right, is he really the problem or is they the problem? It, it get it gets you to really sit back and really think about the shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like whatever, regardless, people say I'm still gonna feel the same way. They don't want yeah, with me. I, they they say it to the day, and I still say the same thing. I don't care, bro. Nah, I like Yo, that. I like that about it, bro. everybody. This is check your temperature and my boy. Blockwork just came here and got sure. stamped. So that's a fact. Tap yeah, in with us, man. Tap, tap in. Part two state. Yeah. Yeah. Tap in. Part two, is, man. man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let, 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 go crazy this now. is why. This is why Blockwork is official compared to a lot of you bitch niggas because <laughs> we had our our bad blood that's and he fact. actually showed up right and he showed up. On business time, he didn't show up on dickhead time. You feel uh, not what I'm with saying? fifty niggas. And not with you know. You feel what I'm saying? He definitely he he carried for himself. He didn't yeah, need a hundred. And by the way, he did not come a hundred deep. He came with him and one other person. That's it. He did not come a hundred deep. So shout out to Block Work. You feel yeah, me? I appreciate shout out you. I appreciate y'all niggas, niggas though for having me, bro. Feel me? Welcome me here. I like. I already mm. told you. Feel me? I wanted to get up here because I already like what you was doing. I appreciate yeah. this shit. I feel like mm. a lot of people. Need to see this? Come sit down, talk, talk about shit. Get, yeah. the, get it out. If you got a problem, with, even if you got a problem with somebody, Word. just come, come get it out, bro. That's like, it. Maybe the best way to do it is get it out. So I feel Simple. like a lot of people, this is what y'all need to do. Get up here, come do it. Really, regardless if you scared, bro. I don't care. Mm. Come with fifty niggas if you scared. Man. <laughs> Respectfully, what are you talking about? Like, bring your whole family, bro. right? Come do it, bro. It help you feel better as a person because now you know, I right, shit. I could do this with anybody now, nigga. I ain't, yeah, you I mean, know what I'm saying? Ain't comfortable. I could speak now. I don't got to argue. And I feel like as young black men, we, we got yeah. a problem with that, yeah. bro. As young black men, we have problems. You know why? Where we're from. Because most, most of us raised by mommy. I'm, that's what I'm saying. We're, we're all yeah. raised by my mom, so yeah. we're so sensitive and saying We yeah. come off like, bro, nah. We, 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 never, we got used crazy. to using words yeah. more. You feel me, niggas? Yeah. Yeah. Chat it's too much sometimes. It's eat. Real talk. But look, man, we're going to wrap it up. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, by the way. And That's go follow fact. me on TikTok. I'm doing a Christmas giveaway for all the people who do not have Holidays no Christmas gifts. 
you could have the chance to win Call of Duty, man. I'm giving Call of Duty out to five lucky people. So go follow me on TikTok and I'm doing a giveaway live. Hold on. Hold on. Shout out my son Ace from the BX. He stopped me the other day and he showed me mad love. So I just want to give you a shout out. Shout out to Matt, Ace. Shout out to Ace from That's the BX. Shout, you know? out shout out to the niggas that be seeing That's niggas. Right. Like That's that actually, you That's know, showing love, right? That shit. That's a yeah. fact, bro. That's a fact. I seen a lot of podcasts and shit going mm-hmm. up, so I, I, this is just like some shit I want to see on the. I want to do some shit like this yeah. too in the future. I hope niggas like just do it. I have yeah. problems with me. Do so they shit. tough enough to come sit down yeah. me. I'll get security if y'all want. But this is the and point they, of this you, shit. You see who the security here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We the security. A lot yeah. of niggas don't want to do it because of that. But it's yeah. like, bro, not nah, because you know what it is, bro. Niggas know. They could tell when the niggas is real niggas. It's just the fact that they got so much pride that they got to do yeah. it for the internet. You feel yeah. me? Oh, this nigga said this to me and this man, I don't like it. F- this nigga. And da, 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 da. knowing that damn well, you're not willing to go nah, up really against the like, green. You feel not, me? Well, you're not really willing to go that Word. far for that shit, bro. So stop it, bro. Uh, just take your temperature and we are.